Welcome to Cream's Why do you say it like that? Like you you're like I'm just be ashamed of myself. Hey, off the hip, bro. Right, he was seem like I gotta be ashamed of myself. I was, for that. I was, I was never. Like, a, why is he dissing me? Nah, I was I wasn't a dancer. Well, no, nah, but all right. Oh, I was the. Nah, but you're a gangster. I get it. I was the guy. I was <laughs> no, the guy. you're tough. I'm not. All right, we got it. Clear. It's I was clear doing graffiti, as, clear man. As mud, I wasn't breaking. Race. Clear as mud now. How you feel about me? Y'all can feel better, man. That we dumb little dancer lights. friend of mine. That's what you tell people. <laughs> How do you know Krim? A stupid little dancer I know. <laughs> the singer? You know the singer. <laughs> hey, man, tell us when you're going to start recording. We've been recording. Been recording. Are you recording? <laughs> yeah. Yo, yeah. welcome to Krim's crib. We're song, back. Right? We're back for more, for more shit. For more shit talking. And everybody's here with me again today. Eternal's here. What's good? Braze is here. What up? Blaze is here. What's up? And our returning guest. Is he? What do we, how do we say? How do we give him an intro? A returning guest. The guy. Returning, <laughs> returning the guy. friend. Critically acclaimed. It's the guy. It's Jono. Oh, Jono. What What's up? up, bro? What's the damn deal, man? What you been up to here. since the last time we fucked with you? Just working, man. Got my house on the market. Mm. It's been busy. How you been holding up through all this stuff, man? Stressful or are you good or what? It's stressful, man, but you really got nothing to worry about right now. Yeah? What about the rest of y'all? What the fuck y'all been up to? I feel like I tried to not talk to y'all so much so that I have more to talk to y'all about when I see y'all. <laughs> so man, now it's like sense. when I ask y'all, I'm serious because I haven't really kept up with y'all. <laughs> that's that's, so, that's why right you've been there, avoiding bro. us. What have you, <laughs> Eternal, you, how you how you been doing? Man, I've been doing all right. I started my new job. Badass. Finally, so I've been Thank working. God. Appreciate it. Doing orientation, classes, all that stuff. Yeah. Getting get back, it, it feels like it feels like coming back to life. Yeah. Like yeah. site specific shit. Sight. Yeah. Yeah. Braves, what about you? What you been up to? Uh, just working like an animal. You know, animal. Trying to pay the bills. Trying to pay the bills. <laughs> that's Blaze. A good, that's a good lyric. Same. Same. Yeah. Working. Oh yeah. Grown me, man, man me, I've been <laughs> I me, I've been chilling all fucking week and I don't like it. I don't like being off. I don't like having time to just Hang out, thoughts. shit. I'm uh, about yes, to, I'm about to yes. Join you next week, bro. I don't like to be in my thoughts. I, I need <laughs> to stay busy, bro. You can't get. Too I had to stay busy. busy, dude. I'm about to join you next week, dude. Well, it's gonna be great. Well, Cardi <laughs> B's getting a divorce, bro. Uh, Cardi B's getting a divorce. <laughs> what do you think about this? <laughs> well, what do you think about this? You sad about it? I mean, it's good. It's just gonna shed light on you know the ca- cause and upset. effect. Do this, and this happens. She don't cook. She don't clean. She got, <laughs> man, she well, gotta go. She gotta go. <laughs> hey, they're saying. They I say. saw. I saw something that was saying. They were saying uh, allegedly that he uh, that another chick. Got pregnant is having a kid and that's why she's breaking up with him because well, he's got a baby good, on the way with another reason, chick like, like right now. Like yeah. that would be within good reason. Yeah, that is like I think that's the furthest you can go. That's like I can't we can't forgive this. Like that's if you get a, you having a kid on the side like yo nah we nah we can't do this no more. That's well, what if it's yeah, that's what if it's like her, that's though. too what if far. She's, uh, yeah. That's like to the point I don't ever want to see you again. That's how I feel about it. Yeah, like come on, I forgive a lot of fucked up stuff. You know what I'm saying. But that, nah. So that's what happened. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, but no, that, I saw that video, like, uh, I think my homeboy uh, showed me this video of him playing a game or some shit. Oh, hiding his phone or something? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, the man. shit is fucking funny as fuck, though, bro. Well, like I said, bro, uh, uh, allegedly, he some girl came. Even the girl made a video apologizing about, why are you apologizing now? Like, why are you even doing that? that? Done? Like, yeah, like, she came out with a video. Yeah. Why would you even apologize? Like, so just, you already wrecked the home? Yeah, I mean, when she came out with a video, like, I'm so sorry. Uh, like, Ugh. what the fuck? Why? What are you sorry time. about? She just wants that FaceTime. Yeah, uh, why do you? Of uh, course. She, she just wants to get minutes. popular real quick so she could yeah. be on the uh, fucking Real Housewives of Atlanta, the bitch that got pregnant by Offset and ruined Cardi B's marriage. And no she, jumping Now she's podcast. somebody. <laughs> <laughs> right? Really? That's, That's, how it That's what she wants to be. Become popular off this. Yeah. I heard she was toxic and she wouldn't get off her goddamn phone. So, hey, you set it down. Well, you know what? Uh, regardless, man. <laughs> well, regardless, dude. She, Offset, she's, off. She's going through what she's going through. She's going through what she's going through. And you know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Uh, you know, fuck, dude. I'll 
Hope everything works out for Cardi B. Should be all right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She's yeah, a Latin. Yeah. She's a she's a Latin right. chick, so I got it. She, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I fuck with her no matter what. She'll yeah. be good. You know what I'm talking about? She got yeah, yeah she got bread, nigga. She don't yeah. need him. And you know what I'm saying? He don't need her. Exactly. So they'll be all right regardless. Him, if he's having another kid for real, he's an idiot for that. Cause he, you're about to get put on child support by that one and the other one, cause the other one ain't gonna last, cause that's the bitch the jump off. Well, you know so you're about to be on double child support it's, like a dumb fuck. But that's okay because you know what? He's got money. It's fine. Yeah, he's but money, but money is it, not worth yeah. drama. Yeah, but they can afford the drama. I saw, ah, but you know what? Nobody can afford drama because it's like Turner. The more you money feeling me on that? Nobody can afford it's the drama same for everyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, the less money you make, they're gonna fuck you. The more money you make, they're gonna fuck you anyway. Yeah. I guess we're like, all fucked. You're still fucked. <laughs> yeah, we are all fucked. They just fuck you more when you have more money. We'll yes. be raping I feel like you, I'm raping getting an upper hand. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel like I'm getting the oh, upper hand on the fuckiness in life though, right now, man. Yeah. I feel like I'm winning right now. You think so? Well, hey. Yeah. I you know like what? I can see you the better today, Blaze. Yeah, me yeah. too. <laughs> I'm yeah. very optimistic in the future. Let's yeah, me too. That. Let's just say that. Like, it's just, yeah. I Nothing but opportunity. That's right. Hey. Fuck it, dude. Why right though, man? I don't even know how we're talking bro. about that. We're just talking about Cardi B getting left, bro. I don't know what the fuck. What the fuck are we talking about? Like, wait, Cardi how did B, we get there? How did we get there? How did we get to that from Cardi B getting a divorce? I don't know. Okay. Oh, because they have money. Oh yeah, you said because they have money. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah. All right, man. So check it out too. Joe Biden. He, I guess he like his phone rang and the fucking that song Despacito was playing on his phone. I guess he's trying to like. Influence uh, influenced the Hispanic votes because he was like in Miami or something where they're like <laughs> more Hispanic people. Uh, it's that, a big media piece. So he's trying sure. to like get like some like love or something because he does that. Like that's corny as fuck when they do that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah when they try is. to like, they, they you know can tell saying? like super easy. Like, yeah. hey Biden, if you want to get our attention, you got to play Bronco or Tigres. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine with Bronco. Forget it. He walks out. <laughs> so, so Biden doing that, he's a fucking dumbass. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, well, like he's trying, like he should have played. Bronco. He's fishing. The, he's fishing for. For love here and attention he, he here, and it's corny, dude. They're showing their whole the, the whole world. I don't like when right any now, of the. I don't like when any politicians do this shit, bro. No, yeah. none. It's corny, bro. When they do it that, is. it is. And then also too, they uh, 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 the other chick that's running with him, Kamala Harris or whatever. She wears like a pair of Tims or something, and she's on the cover of some magazine or that, uh, or some article talking about. You know what I'm saying? She's making Tims popular again. Like, Tim's <laughs> never were not popular. Yeah, they were always popular. But even her, she's fishing for the... Or maybe she just wore it. Like, she's so urban? They're just wet. Nah. Oh, <laughs> yes! Yeah, like, oh my God, she's so she's, hood. She's, like, she's, she's trying oh to my God, she's just trying to the Wu-Tang Clan. To, like, <laughs> she's, try, hey, she's trying to rake in them Harlem votes. Huh? <laughs> They're trying to appeal to like a younger crowd, I guess. Yeah. That's I hate that. That's what I'm yeah, trying to say. No, that's so another. Fake, that's bro. another gimmick, though. I mean, it's you know? shitty. It's so got, dumb, bro. That. Yeah. It's so dumb. It's all about votes and getting people to go out there. And, and like, some people will vote up based on just that. Yes. Like some corniness. Yes, that's the stupidness of it. Like people don't look at the, who the fuck they're voting for, man. No. Look at the person that you're voting for. Or does the person, uh, or does the person in any kind of way trying to help the values you live for? You don't know, like who's where they Jay, run- who's Jay Z back, and that's what I want to know. That's who I'm voting for. Man, Jay Z has <laughs> hey Jay Z ain't said nothing. Uh oh, about that's none true. of this. That's true. Oh, I can't vote, Not man. once has he came I'm, forward like y'all need to vote. vote. Motherfucker probably on house arrest, bro, or some shit. <laughs> Jay Z? Yeah. Hey, he ain't voting for Kanye, I tell you. That. <laughs> <laughs> no, he ain't voting oh, for Kanye for sure. Kanye, bro. Kanye says he's still gonna be in the mix. Kanye is he's a still fucking trying? monster. Not, bro. I don't know. I don't know if he's just chilling or just trying to be funny. But he's actually gonna be on some ballot. What? No, he's really trying to be like a a, a, a runner. politician. Yeah, he's really yeah. actually trying to run. Well, I heard he was trying to run for president, but he dropped out. That's yeah, he sure. dropped out, but they say he's still on something. Yeah, on a ballot somewhere. So I don't know. Right. You know, Blaze, uh, Joe Budden only has one more episode left on Spotify, dude. This is his last one, the next one. I think I need like two or three more, I think more, Wednesdays bro. is the last one, dude. I haven't caught up. Uh, what, what's it like? Are you, you already like caught up? Yeah, bro. Like he's like, you know, like I said, dude, from like the last few episodes, he's like always kind of like underhandedly bashing Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> While he's on Spotify, he's talking shit about Spotify. <laughs> I love it, dude. I love he's it. He's an idiot. But he has been saying like this is y'all are not gonna hear us on Spotify again. So he is saying that he that they're gonna not be on there at all, bro. Yeah. What do you think happens? You think he's gonna go to Apple? 
What's gonna happen with all his episodes yeah. that are already on there? They own those. So they just they bought stay those. On yeah, there. they paid the two year. They got them for two year contracts. So those, the two years of uh, all gonna, that shit, they'll probably it stays end up with on them. title. Yeah. Well. So. Well. Or even that. Maybe he goes. Maybe he's going to title. Maybe he's uh, just. I don't know, dude. Damn. So they own his episodes. That's crazy. They own. Yeah. Like, why would they want to own episodes? Like, is somebody gonna go back and listen to that? Like, older? Well, I yeah. did. Huh? I did. <laughs> you did. When I when I heard the current one, I went all the way back wow. to the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, and it's just something I do on the way to work, or something I did on the way to work and on the way back. Yeah. Like that's just it. I think I have two though. Like yeah, I listen to a lot of older ones too. I just heard one. Or you know what? Or if I get into like a, when I first when I got into a certain ones, like when I first found out about the Mike Tyson one, yeah. Then I went back and listened to all the other stuff. But that's different. They're interviews. The Joe Budden ones is like they're talking about pop culture, but pop culture changes all the time. So if I go listen to an episode, the very first one, the stuff they're talking about is not going on anymore. No, but it's not even about that because they just make personal jokes about certain things. It's like. They'll start with that and then they'll just say, "Hey, remember that one time?" And it's like, the, it oh, even like matter. the stories and the shit that they yeah. sh- the shit talking. That's what's so in great between about the story, yeah. in between the yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Because you 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 do begin to be- develop a likeness for certain characters and exactly you like to start liking their personality, the honor personalities as well. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. So yeah, no, I feel you on that. I guess I can see why it would be still be worth value to somebody. Yeah, but. Point is, he's not gonna be there no more, and no, I don't know where will we hear the next episode. That's what I'm wondering. Like, how are we gonna listen to the next episode? Where, what, like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of like, I'm ready to see what, you know, what the what they're gonna do about that, bro. Like, how is it gonna work? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Where he's gonna pop up? I agree. Okay, dude. So also to the Kanye rants, bro. What's up with that? Dude, this shit's great. No, but tell me about some of them, because I... I saw a Grammy in the toilet. Yeah, he was peeing oh. on the Grammy. Eternal <laughs> sent me that. A what? Yeah. He was peeing on the Grammy, like he threw it in the toilet. Oh, shit, sure. he's pissing yeah, on it? Yeah, and he's pissing on and it. They put it on wow. Twitter. That's not good. That's not good. Why? <laughs> Why? I mean, uh, all right. Why is not good? Tell us. Because... Why do you they're think gonna this? take it as disrespect? And next time he's up for an award, they might not give it to But him. maybe he's like, fuck them and fuck their awards. Mm, that too. Why? Why? I mean, Why do we always need somebody to make us feel like we're worth something? Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like why do we always... You know, like, y'all, when y'all were telling me about a certain rapper or something like that, and then y'all were like, for me to care about them, y'all always say like, yeah, he signed the so-and-so. Why does that matter? Mm. It doesn't matter who you're next to. If you're not any good, it's not going to matter. Yep. You see what I'm saying? And, that, and that's what I'm... And that's, that, that's what I'm, um, I'm saying about that. About that. About... What was it? Kanye? Kanye, yeah. Like, you're saying what? What were you saying about it? No, I'm saying... <laughs> I'm I fucking forgot what you were saying. That is, that's no, a bad you move for him. That it's maybe, maybe, move. maybe his move, what he did was a bad idea because he's pissing on a Grammy. Yeah, but he, <laughs> and next time he's up for a Grammy, they'll be like... That's how we got there. Yeah, you know, but he wants out. Though, that's that's a lot whatever he's in right now, he wants out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, that's seriously, true. That's, that's what it is. Whatever he's in right now, Same thing whatever he situation, Kim, he wants out of that situation. Yeah, it's the only thing that's why he's acting out, man. I think I think he's uh, he's probably under a lot of. I think he's trying to take power away from all the people that have had power f- for the longest in the industry, in the music industry, and they've always been, you know, you very, know, they've always been, be. you know, in the industry they never made a lot of money like you always thought. Like how you always thought your favorite rapper was making a lot of money. That's not true. Nah, no, they're, they're a lot of the rappers that we love from the '90s, they they doing bad, bro. No, it's like where they're not doing what you think they would have been doing. Yeah, and it's because the music industry took a lot from them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So Kanye, Especially I think he's trying to say now. like, "Fuck the people that are not giving us what we're worth, or not giving us money, or fucking yeah. us." Or I mean, he's just keeping it real. You got a new album? He didn't, I, I feel I like, like I don't dislike anything Kanye came out and Tell said. Me. I feel like most, <laughs> this go round. Most at least most Houston rappers they're still humble, dude. Right now they live humble lives. Bro. Yeah, you know. Yes, and to speaking on staying right there with Kanye. I was reading that. Look, this is what this is what. Look, listen. I'm gonna break it down to y'all right here, and y'all tell me what y'all think. Kanye contract summary. Apart from the in, induce inducement which Kanye had to sign to get his advances, this shows that Jay Z sold the masters to the first six Kanye West albums just so he could get his own back. He did so knowing Def Jam won't sell them back to Kanye in the future. Wow. Hmm. What do you think about that? Sounds shady, man. Jay Z. Sold the masters that he had of the Kanye. I mean, but if they're his, I mean they're his. They were Jay Z's because he was Rockefeller. I mean, they, he was signed to Rockefeller. I mean, so Jay Z and them company, owned the masters. Man. 
So Jay Z sold the, the Kanye one so that he can get his own stuff back. Maybe he did that as a I fuck you to the Grammy. It. Maybe that's why Kanye's mad because you seen that price just went up. If he ever wants to that's, own his masters again, and that's probably well, why he pissed on his Grammy. Man, <laughs> and everybody and everybody's trying to buy their 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 publishing and their masters and all that back right now. Like it seems like everybody's because that's the only way you can yeah, make money with battling touring, to get bro. their stuff yeah, nowadays. They're not gonna press them you up. Can't no more. Huh? They're, they're you gonna, can't tour. You can't tour. That's the only way you can make money is to own these streams a hundred percent. Like to everything. get royalties and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So that's what you I'm saying. Like everybody right, right now, now is fighting some way, shape, or form for. Their masters and, and stuff like that right now, dude. Did you hear about Michael Jackson and Paul McCartney back in the day? What about them? That they were like good friends and then Paul McCartney told Michael Jackson that he was going to buy his masters and he was like t- giving them game about it and next thing you know, Michael Jackson came came out and bought his masters underneath him. <laughs> Damn. He outbid no him. Shit. Wow. Who, so Paul McCartney owned... Michael Jackson? No, no. Paul McCartney was trying to buy his. I don't oh. know if it was the Beatles, Beatles or the Beatles. If it was his. The Beatles. Yeah, he bought and the then, Beatles. Oh, he bought yeah, the, Beatles, the Beatles. And then Michael Jackson came in and outbid him because he had more bread. Damn, yeah. his so own homeboy. Got, yeah, that's crazy. Damn. <laughs> but you know what? That him owning the the that stuff from the Beatles kept him rich for a long time, bro. Yeah. Yeah, the residuals yeah. on that Beatles money is crazy. Yeah. Because Michael Jackson, he wasn't even putting out records no more, nothing, and he was still living good. Mm-hmm. And it was, and I read somewhere that you know back then that he owned the, you know, everything of the Beatles, and I was like, dude. He 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 Mark knew after, I'm gonna live off this regardless. Yeah, and but, not not to mention his own, his own catalog is legendary like that to where it yeah. makes money constantly. But yeah. Paul, McGar- his Paul revenue, McCartney, his like put him up stopped. on game on that. Oh, he he taught him about publishing and all this well, stuff. Oh yeah, he said that he was gonna go buy his own masters, and then Michael Jackson came in and bought them. Oh, that's crazy. Dang. And bro. then every once in a while, every once in a while, he would just come out and just drop something with somebody, and just, mm. you know, quietly. Man. That's it. You know, I make think, a fortune and then go back to his house. I think uh, uh, on paper, what everything I just read that Jay Z did sounds very horrible. Yeah. In real life, I'm like, did Jay Z just was he at the time just kind of like he did what he had to do to get his own stuff back and didn't really think about this? Like, nah, he thought about it. <laughs> I know, yeah, bro. Couldn't, couldn't he I have mean, done it, that it to any of the artists is. under him though? Huh? Couldn't he have done that to any of the artists that were under him? Yeah. No, they're not. None of the under artists are under him are worth what Kanye's worth. I'm sure he owns. You're talking about the too. graduation. Yeah, You're I'm talking sure. about the college dropout. Yeah. Like these are some but something monumental there, albums, yeah. huh? They were like best friends. Something, something happened. Personal right? happened there. I mean, at the end of the day, Jay Z is a businessman. I'm not saying it's right, but I'm saying something happened between them. And then Jay Z's a businessman at the end of the day, and if he wants to get his masters, he's gonna get his masters. Yeah, I mean it's not like they homeboys and he's doing this to him. Like something happened to it's them in the past. They've been man. having a yeah. bad. They've been that's, having that's a, a bad relationship for a while, themselves, man. It's a business. It's they, a throw. I mean, fuck. They've been having a, a bad relationship for a while now. Yeah. It seems like yeah, like yeah, a lot yeah. of shit between them. All right, bro. So this fucking California <laughs> sheriff deputy burglarized the home after responding to a death there. Damn. Then burglarized it later. God, that's foul. Damn. That's foul, man. Dude, what? Yeah. What happened? Um, uh, the a California sheriff deputy burglarized the home after responding to a death there. Did they say what items he took? Did they have video? They Is have videos. Was in, yes, in there's North videos. Cameras. Look, oh, great. That's look. terrible. Damn, that's him. Bro. Oh, oh, video. Man. They Damn. know he came back and robbed the shit, bro. That's shitty, dude. The fact that he didn't know that there's a camera there and he's a cop. You're a cop, bro. <laughs> you should not be. You should think thought about this. Yeah, you're a cop. Well, the cops are gonna be upset about that because they're making. He's making them look bad. Man. Yeah. So I mean, still, like, what? It, that's it's like a that's piece in, of shit. Dude. It's like injustice, piece of shit. right? That, that's cold blooded, right? That's there. fucked up. I mean, yeah, th- there was a murder that happened there. He was supposed to be covering not that, not the fucking vanity with the jewelry and shit. Bro, nah, dude, that like you're he's supposed to be that's nah. Nah, bro. That to me, that's like I don't know, bro. Like that's like You're uh, stealing from the family, bro. Imagine if you okay, 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 okay. Check out this scenario from this. Imagine if you're the family that they he's he's burglarizing and you come home and you catch this how do you call the cops on the cops? You don't. What do you do in that situation? <laughs> oh yeah. Imagine, yeah, you came home and you're like, "Whoa, shit, babe! Somebody, you know, you and your take, girl take that babe, video man, to damn. the news. Somebody <laughs> broke into our house, and then when y'all get in there, it's a fucking cop. What would you, 
How do you even deal with that? Take the video to the news or upload that shit to YouTube. Make that shit go viral. Man. <laughs> what you do is say he fell and slipped and died I in the think pool. if you catch the cop in the middle of the act, he's going to kill you. Yeah. Man, yeah. For you're going to be bro. dead. And then you're going to be dead. Then he'll make yeah. up another story saying, oh. It's his word against yours. And then, I mean. You're dead. Yeah. He's going to kill you. Yeah. And he's going to say that he showed up at that house and you were there dead and blah 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 and you know he make up a whole fucking thing out of this he's gonna tell you like Denzel yeah. you wanna come go on, home bro it's gonna, gonna be go like yeah it's gonna be like some training day some real <laughs> shit like you know what I'm saying like that's what's happening if you rode in on these cops robbing you he's gonna put down the newspaper and say oh you're gonna interrupt me regardless though it, me now. <laughs> regardless though regardless though it, it, there's a there's a you read a story like that you read a headline like that and it's like a I don't know man it, it's like a like a like a scary ugly feeling to know that a cop would do that, yeah. like you know what I'm saying. Like, it's very scary to know, to to read something like that and be like, these are the people that are there to try to keep things normal, to be help people, to all the stuff that they're supposed to do, yeah. and then they do something like that, and it's just like, then who do we trust? It's like it's a scary reality when you read something like that that you really can't trust anybody. Yeah, that's sad. Like, you know, anybody that does that, that's like going to a doctor that doesn't care at all, like a doctor you know, should do his best. If he's the doctor and he's doing a surgery, you want him to be the best at it and you want him to be somebody that cares about it. You want him to be, you don't want him to be like, like he don't give a fuck, bro, because that's your life is in in that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's the same uh, thing with a cop. You want the cop to be everything that he's... Trust. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's where the point is. Like, so just reading that is like, that's scary to think that even the fucking cops, bro... Like, I don't know, man. It, it happens. It happens. But think about it, too, a little bit deeper, bro. He went back. He went back. He had responded to a death there earlier. It, so he knows that whoever lived there is dead. So maybe he went, wanted to rob it because yeah, he knows that they're already out. Yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, yeah. The the, the people probably weren't notified yet. Crack it. Crack it. So he took advantage he was, of the Yeah. Time. He was like, yo. He was on a time schedule. It's he not like it. they're coming. They're dead. Yeah. So let sure me just. I could go rob this shit and then nothing's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, it's. You know what I mean? The fuck did I just walk into? <laughs> so the that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, <laughs> it's just it's just fucked up, bro. Like that whole shit is just a cop shouldn't be. Oh, so a cop, Jono, a cop, uh, a cop burglarized a home after responding to a death there. That's, that's what we were talking about before you walked in. And they that's had a video up. of it. Shitty. But right, it's like that's the, he there's, should lose his job. There's a there's an injustice about it, right? He should lose his job. He, of course he's gonna lose his job But I'm saying like The fact that he's a cop And he's doing that Is like there's a There's a I don't know bro Like It's this loss of uh, Of security I don't know It's like it, it makes you feel A certain way about it When you read that Right Yeah man People aren't Because these are the cops They're people supposed are, to be Krim don't think like that This is an isolated of, incident. It is an isolated incident Because not all <laughs> like, really, Not all bad cops Are bad cops It's an like, isolated no, incident oh, No of course Of course No of course But even reading That there, that there's some Like it's, that out there It's, it's unnerving it's, Exactly it's unnerving. There you go yeah. Perfect word It's, it's unnerving, unnerving yeah. To read that That's what I was Trying to get it to you The whole time you A little bit that You know it could be Anybody yeah. I mean, that's yeah. what I'm saying You could get pulled over And that cop could have Fucked up intentions Yeah at the end of the day There's still men Yeah, yeah. Men exactly. were not It's not like exactly. A cop is on another level Than everybody else At the end of they're the day just more, still men. They're just more paranoid yeah. Than everybody else They're just human It's like out of anybody They, they want to go home To their fucking families You know at the end of the day Just like everybody else But yeah what that dude did mm. No That's e- eerie and Fucked up, bro. Like you gotta be kind of fucking sick to do that. Where like the body's still in the house? No, they probably. That's what I was just telling Braze. It was probably more of a situation like they already. He knows that there's nobody there because some because they're whoever lived there's dead. So he thought, let lick. me go hit the hit a lick on it because yeah, you know, they're already out of there anyway. He just wanted to hit a lick. He wanted to hit a lick, yeah. yeah. And but he got he's caught. A sick bastard for but doing still, it. yeah. Hit karma's a, lick a bitch, on. dude. You can't rob the fucking dead, bro. Like right away. Yeah, that's the worst. I think karma. that's the worst one. Instant Robbing karma. the dead, you're out of there. You're stupid. <laughs> Robbing the dead. I don't even know what, like, what that I mean, that's like the right? lowest form of disrespect. <laughs> Why? Like, it if, is. You had a, if you had but a pick, the dead like, doesn't even know. That's no, like somebody but still, walking that's like low. Oh, great. <laughs> Dude, that's like real He's low. not going to need it's, this. It's, it's been, <laughs> yeah. a, it's been exactly. a thing in the past. <laughs> He's dead. Like, people have, like, unearthed fucking tombs and shit and stolen, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. what? Like, celebrity tombs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my like, God, yeah. dude. And stolen what? They're, ex- they're low crazy ex- 
shit. Like, like a piece of their finger. Yeah, oh, you, can't, ah! you can't fuck with the dead, bro. No, no, no. Please, I'm telling you, bro. Like a finger psycho of a celebrity. Shit, yeah. I'm just saying, like it's like people, Elvis. Shit like that. No, Dude, I don't Man, fucking hold put, on. I don't put it. Past no, let me get my phone. No. Huh? I don't. I don't put it past anybody to do that shit. I, I wouldn't doubt it. Nothing surprises me. Anymore. That's fucking yeah. crazy. Imagine jogging by a fucking cemetery <laughs> and you see some bitch in there fucking like digging. Tss, 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 <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Imagine how crazy is you, that. You, you would pause though and be like. I would, I know, what I'm what stopping. Is this I'm stopping. And I'm like, what the fuck? But at the same time, it's like, bro. That's you know, the craziest yeah. level you can you get know, to. Right, right here, right here. Right. Look, Check it look, out. Look, 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 look. Right. Wait, what'd you find? It said, uh, five famous people whose tombs were robbed. Okay, go. Uh, being a celebrity can make people... Uh, okay, fuck that. Name uh, the people. German film director F.W. Murnau. Why? Go know. on. Best known for... Okay, okay. I don't okay. want to say fuck that. Go Whatever. Hold on. Let me see. <laughs> like, is this anybody we know? Next Seriously. Next. <laughs> <laughs> is this anybody we know? Like, <laughs> I know. Go, man. Keep going. Come on. Yeah, someone stole the skull. What? Yeah. They stole the head. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Go yeah. back. Go back. Go back. No, wait, wait, wait. They stole that. And they what was it. he? What was hey, he? They placed it on the desk of the podcast No, but what show. was he, Blaze? Uh, hey. New mascot. He was a director. <laughs> film, he was a German film director. Damn. And not fuck him. I didn't mean it like that. But no, in, 2015, no. in 2015, no. his grave was broken into and Damn. someone made off of it. They school. stole his head. Yeah. Wait, who else? Go on. Charlie Chaplin. <gasps> Charlie, Ch- oh. I know him. Yeah. Charlie Chaplin, what they do to him? Much more obvious. No, they didn't say <laughs> shit. They just Charlie took Chaplin. Not that guy. Hey, remember Not he would do the movies where he wouldn't talk, oh, yeah. and he would yeah. play with his fucking mustache and shit. He was man, Charlie Chaplin, kind dude. Of like Cantin Flas, right? Yeah, he was like the English Cantin Flas, right? Damn, Charlie Chaplin was like the English. Cantin- you well, who, what did they do from? to Car- Blaze? What are you reading it? Yeah, what they do to Charlie Chaplin, bro? They took him for everything. Tell us, please. Don't, man, it better not be fucked up because Charlie Chaplin's a good dude. How do they get away with this, dude? They're six feet deep. You're digging this shit. Like, how? No, they found Charlie Chaplin. They 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 held it for ransom and they demanded a whole They lot got of him? Yeah. Oh, no, shit. his body. His grave. They, they took his whole body. And they hold, they held wow. it for ransom. What? For 600000 in cash. <laughs> what? what? No, 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 no. Yep. Did, they, Did they have it in like a bag or? <laughs> hey, I don't know. Did they, they serve know. any jail time? <laughs> they had that nigga like weekend at Bernie's. Did they yeah. <laughs> You're a ho. <laughs> Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin rolling oh. with them. Weekend at Chaplin. Hey, that's, that's, hey holding that nigga. That's dark. You're rolling with that nigga everywhere. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> that's How, that's how, up. how do you take Charlie no, Chaplin for ransom? He's dead. That show would be hilarious. No, dude, come on, bro. If they call you, you're Charlie Chaplin's family. They call you, they, uh, we stole Charlie Chaplin's body. If you want him back, we want 10 million. Tell me you're not like, fucking, <laughs> the nigga's dead. Keep it. Like, <laughs> right? Is that what you're. T- <laughs> come on. It's a dead person. Did oh, you have ransom? <laughs> Why would you buy it back? Dude, I don't want to read this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop, stop. That's enough. That was, this is Why the do you crazy. like traumatized? Abraham Lincoln's in here. Abraham <laughs> The ghost of Charlie Chaplin's going to come and fucking no. oh, scare God. the shit out of you. Oh, shit, fuck. Dude. But why? I'm just saying the truth. Like, what the fuck? He's sitting right here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he said his name too many times. I see his shit. You know what, man? God bless the dead and anybody that tried to do any of these things is nothing. <laughs> Nuts. Fuck. <laughs> Nuts. That's so insane. That's, that's, oh, this dude. is the pro- that was probably the most psycho stuff I that's, ever heard. That's right pretty there. disturbing shit. Yeah. Yes, oh, dude. God, yes. Like, why do people do that shit? That's an like ankle grabber. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. You know, that's when, a, you know when you're oh. asleep? You know when you're asleep? <laughs> yeah. And you, and you wake up and you feel something pulling you or oh, something. No. Or something sleeping on your chest. What yeah. do they call that, John? Oh, yeah, shit. No, 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 no. Uh, what's the word, Blaze? Sleep, uh, pa- sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis. Oh, oh there you go. shit. I hate that. Sleep paralysis. Damn, bro. What do y'all think about that? I hate I that never, shit. I get it, dude. Has it ever I, happened to you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Really? Like, I'm trying my hardest to jump out of that dream and yeah. I just can't. Yes, exactly. Uh, no, I hate what about it. when you wake up and you're in real life and you can't get it? Yeah, yeah, it's the room. Man. Man. Like, it's my room, but I can't. Man. Yeah, yeah, it happened to me too. It's just fucking wild. I believe that shit, man. But it only happens to me when I'm super tired. 
Okay. And I'm between falling asleep and awake, but I feel like I'm there for a while, and I'm just like, it's weird, dude. I can't explain it. It's kind of like you get that fucking falling. Huh? Falling. Like when I'm trying to and stay fucking, up, and I'm yeah. super tired. I'm tired enough. I'm on the couch, and I'm awake, yeah. and my chick will be talking to me, but I'm not. Like yeah. I'm not awake. But I can. It's weird, bro. Have y'all had that one where you're laying down and then you just kind of like out of nowhere, you just feel yeah, like you're tipping back and you gotta like time. every night jerk yourself. <laughs> every night, man, dude. I That's hate a those. horrible feeling. Lately, I've slept good. I haven't had something like that in a while, thank God. But nah, I hate those, dude. Hey, Blaze. I mean, Braze, uh What do you plan on doing in uh, 2022? 2022. What do you plan on doing? Like what? Well, I think I'm gonna slow down on all the skydiving and. Uh, <laughs> really make time for your garden? Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, you know what's something you really farmer, can do? Farmer. What, what, what's going That's on? A wise idea. You know what you can do in what? 2022? You can fucking get on the fucking Titanic replica. Oh, there you go. And sail the seas in the real Titanic. What is the ticket? On I'm that? super dumb. I don't know what's going to the front. Are the tickets on those <laughs> and, look, look, look. and they're going to go the original route. Oh, oh I don't damn. know about that one. Classic. Well, hey. Classic. I think by now you haven't heard the story. Out how to get around. <laughs> you haven't heard the story, Grim. Man, <laughs> hey, what if it happens <laughs> twice in a row, dude? dude That's I'll, nuts. I'll go with a double vest, a swim vest. Man, nah, fuck, this is dude. unsinkable. But why would anybody want to go to New is York? There right scary, now? Is there a scariness to thinking about doing that though? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it different than going on any other cruise? Well, it's not, but I mean, still, it's like... Because you're testing your look, and then you go on the exact same Yes, it's time. like it's just... It's, it's like you're... It's an eeriness it's like a about bad it. omen. Yeah, it's like, it's like yeah, that's what, that's what he like turns us. Yeah, like, dude, we, should, like, uh, we probably should be doing it. Let's go over the I, same iceberg. Well, personally, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be on a fucking, like, cruise floating over fucking where people died. Like, Damn. why? But we're probably always going over where people have died. That's very That's true. true. Think That's about true. it. Hey, we walk Niggas have been down. out here. Where it's been water, it's probably <clears throat> been land. Uh, like, look, before. there's been people, there was people uh, roaming Texas, and they were on some cowboy shit, Western, and they probably was shooting pools and all that. But you don't know there. that. These people sure. know. They know what happened. Yeah, you no, know, no, no, you're right. <laughs> yes, no, you're right. They know what happened exactly. Are you exactly. saying the Titanic was an inside job? <laughs> <laughs> Have y'all seen Poulter, guys? <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> hey, but that... Hey. I think it sounds cool, though. I'll check that out. I it mean, sounds I cool. I would like to see it. What if it was so sick? It was like, are they doing it like original or are they like modernizing the ship? I don't think so. Not it's going to be... I think they're modern. I would, I would think it'd be Titanic replica. That's, oh, Titanic replica. That's what they're saying. A Titanic replica. Like, nah, they are changing some things. I, I can't imagine the well, bottom being ago. that well, raw. And not only just that, but like, you know, like like... Uh, where they where they actually run draw, drive the ship from? I'm sure it's like the modern way now. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. But the rest looks like you know. I mean, what I mean? they at like, least gotta have one Alexa in every room, though, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah they have to. You think they're gonna have fools sleeping down at the bottom like they did Jack on the movie? Oh yeah. Down at the very they're bottom, just shoveling coal sure. all day. Where it's like they're, where there is like, remember like how they're down there like in the jail, yeah. Jack and right? all that. Remember Jack? E deck from the movie. <laughs> Yeah, Jack E-deck. was down there at the they bottom. Were, they yeah. were down at E-Deck. Boy. Remember, he got he went up there and got and got with the girl from up there, the one that was yeah, balling. The but Jack one. was from at the bottom A-deck. with the rats, bro. Yeah. So are they going to still have people in the bottom with, like, with the rats like they did Jack? Hey, bro, think of that movie, though, man. What about it? Like, the whole fucking... That movie's crazy in the sense that this dude didn't even have to fucking go there. Like, he just won it in a super lucky-ass hand of poker. Yeah. Mm. Like, that movie's crazy, bro. It's ironic, right? Yeah. He won but lost. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> so when he didn't show up to work the next day. <laughs> Damn. Damn, dude. That's a hell of a that's yeah, a hell yeah. of a lunchtime conversation. <laughs> you hear what happened to Jack? <laughs> you know how he won? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you hear what happened to Jack? <laughs> but do you think it was worth it because he ended up smashing that like he died, he ended up smashing old girl and he died later. Like do you think he got a no good pussy he worth won, dying in the he won, won, won. <laughs> he won he won and then he lost that's what I mean like <laughs> yeah. dog the other dude was like way better dressed had way better hair and he couldn't even keep the chicken line but the other guy won all his life and then lost <laughs> once and then ended up killing himself I think right yeah. what yeah he ends up killing himself Who? at the end of the movie 
The, the, the asshole. The asshole. No, yeah, he doesn't. He was like, I have a child. <laughs> no, he gets Fucking away, freak. bro. He, he takes the baby. Away? Yeah. Yeah, he does. He kidnaps the baby to get away. She says that the he puts a gun in his mouth. Why are we yeah. talking about this? Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather be on the island fucking a coconut than die for some pussy <laughs> in the Titanic. <laughs> yes, dude. You said, you said the yes. coconut. Fucking <laughs> a coconut. coconut. Hey. That's, about that yo, one. that nigga, he's talking coconut, about, bro. if I ever get stranded, I'm, I got ideas. Like, you turn up as a lit. Yo, if we get stranded. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. If we get stranded, already, already, I've been already thinking about whole, this. Lot. Already got a whole fucking plan here laid out. We're gonna survive. Just make sure it's in the sun for about fifteen minutes. <laughs> warm, it, uh, warm up the coconut just a little bit. <laughs> it works on apple pie. It starts like humanish. <laughs> oh, 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 not good. It starts feeling humanish. <laughs> <laughs> That's the human pocket pussy. <laughs> Keep it warm. Don't Keep it warm. No rubber bands needed. Don't say it. No hot towels. <laughs> no gloves. Just the coconut. Don't say it. Dude. <laughs> hey, happy birthday, Brace. Oh. Brace, hey, happy birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy yes, birthday, dog, appreciate Brace's it, birthday just passed up, dude. Appreciate it, man. Sure. Hey, how do you feel? Bro. Appreciate it. You made it to another level, bro. How do you feel? Yeah, older. You feeling good with them Versace glasses on? <laughs> <laughs> feeling good, looking good? Yeah, uh, you know, just... You're just getting better, hanging, brother. You're getting better with age. Aging like wine. You're just getting yes, better, sir. brother. There you sir. go. So check this out, bro. Twitter suspends a Chinese virologist who says COVID-19 was made in a Wuhan lab. Jono, what do you think about this? I know you know mm. something about this. Uh, what happened? How do you feel? interview on Fox that was supposed to get aired or some shit, and like they pushed it back, or canceled it, Total. or they pushed it back and um, didn't air it. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what. But happened. they like uh, got rid of all her social media. Any way that they she deleted can, everything, like, anything social, she could do, everything. They censored her completely. They took her <laughs> off of everything. And who platform. was she exactly? She was she worked there. She was a virologist who worked at the who worked at that the lab. lab. Yeah, it's like and so she's like a whistleblower. Up. Yeah, she's saying that we they created it there. Yeah, well, wow. She's well, I mean, be out what, there somewhere talking. To it's a big else. allegation. It's not an allegation. It's but I'm fact. saying it's an well, it's an allegation since so proven. Well, it is proven. No, it's, it's not. proven that uh, it's an allegation uh, still. Uh, no, no, no. It's an allegation. <laughs> it's, it's, no, no, no. <laughs> it's proven. Plays it with the wood that, woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But nobody. The coronavirus was mod- <laughs> modified on a nanocellular level in that lab in Wuhan. But it's not. It's still alleged. It's because not nobody's alleged. charged for it, so it's alleged. Yeah, because they never found patients. Zero. But because it's gonna stay alleged. It's not. It's gonna stay alleged. It was made there. But, was but made there. look, look, look. But I'm telling the you, paper trail I'm telling you, like there. as far as like the media is concerned, it's alleged. It's not. Well, of there's course, because no the this. media is alleging. It's right. A, that's what the media does. It misleads. Right. It keeps people saying, oh, no, like it wasn't. But they're not pinpointing, yeah. going to come out with an article that says uh, uh, coronavirus made in a in the Wuhan lab with that selection. You're never going to see that. They have. They've never had that. They've had. No. They've had it on Fox News. Fox, they, 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 <laughs> they've had it on has CNN. Said that. They've had it on MSNBC. They've had it. They, saying that they got created there. Nobody knows. Yeah. They, they don't know that. Yes. There's, there's I articles. thought that they're still wondering that. No, it there's come articles out. published you know about it. There's only one way to fucking get bottom well, of this shit. I don't <laughs> think that there's... Uh, I don't think that there's... Braves, you feel what I'm saying? There's yeah. not a... There's not, there hasn't been a blame on who go it on, is duck, still. Duck, go and look no, one's, no one's been held as we're accountable. Concerned, as we're concerned, all the normal people of the world that don't... Yeah, because the media it don't It still happened from it. a bat. The media don't show it. It's not going to show it. And that's why I'm saying it's alleged. That's what alleged means. But do you believe it's alleged? No, I think it was created. Well, there. But I'm saying that uh, I mean, as I'm saying to the so to the masses, it's alleged. if you follow back that coronavirus to its origin, it comes back to the United States. Mm-hmm. That it originated here on a university. I forgot which one. That that coronavirus then got transported to Wuhan lab. You remember that uh, Harvard professor that got busted? I forgot his fucking name. If you look it up, it'll show you. What did he do? He got busted. Wiring money between the Wuhan lab and mm. himself. Yeah. He was a Harvard professor that was assisting mm. in the restructuring of the coronavirus or whatever. It's man-made. It's They've altered it. They've altered it. It was a coronavirus that originally started as COVID SARS-2. Right. Okay. This COVID-19 is just a modified version of that. That right. makes it easier 
to like attach to people's lungs, but 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 it's crazy. So the point being is that it started here, mm-hmm. it went to China, mm-hmm. and somehow it fucking got out. They juiced it up in China. So, but but yes, but, uh, because they wouldn't, the U.S. government would not allow them to do the studies on that or modify that virus on American soil. So but they where did take it to China, Wuhan lab? <clears throat> they have a bio five grade facility there or whatever the fuck. So why are we still running with this bad story then if this is all where this stuff's going on? Because that's what they want you to think. That's what they want you to think that it was naturally occurring. There's nothing naturally occurring about this fucking coronavirus. It's just Well not. there is one article that I found of them denying. Yeah, they're gonna deny it. And that's what I'm saying. And it's saying laboratories in Wuhan break silence to deny claims that the coronavirus originated there. Yeah, and then the and consulate the here in NBC. Houston, they were burning the paper trail. They were burning the money. The, oh yeah, the, the consulate—that yeah. is fucking That's crazy. Something everybody swept that under the rug already. Yeah. You're you're saying that it's not a, that you don't feel you don't consider it alleged because there's way too much, uh, 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 there's way too much uh, red flags proving it. But see, yeah. like what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. But see, but like, there's to even the masses, right here, dude, alleged like, is what I'm saying. To the masses, it is. To yes. people who aren't privy to or actually see what's going on and have their face buried on the TV, yeah, they're gonna be scared. They're scared, and you know, people don't know any better because the media just keeps pushing this coronavirus. What do you think happens to this? Up. What do you think happens to this chick? You think she's safe? You think she's in trouble for this or what? I don't know, man. Dude, why would they silence but, her all around? These so, days, so the world can these, forget because two, three weeks from now, we're not even gonna be talking about her anymore. Honestly, yeah, yeah they'll throw a new stick yeah. at the someone grill, else. You know? the they don't want her bus. to keep on keeping on. It's easy to fucking silence people, man. It's called cancel culture. Yeah, that's what that is. Yeah, people speak out, they get canceled. People don't go along with the narrative, they get canceled. It's on both sides. But there's few, dude. Like Takashi and Kanye, they can do anything they want, bro. Yeah, the trolls. They can do anything. Well, they like want. no matter what, they don't lose all their fan. Ba- like stuff that a normal like, dude did that, that he loses his whole fan base. Chico, yeah. I swear, bro. Mm-hmm. Like that, <clears throat> their careers are built. Why that is that way, though? Why is there certain people that they pick that they let them get away with everything? I don't, that know. Fucking, I don't know much about Takashi Six Nine. He's an idiot. <laughs> I, 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 He's an idiot. I think, I think it, it, it lines up with the moons and the stars. These two guys. It's, he, it's, it's weird. Kanye, they're just lucky. Like that, Kanye dude. and Takashi. Some guy. shit. They're That's both how fucking, I feel. So supposedly Britney Spears, fucking. Kanye, they're, thank you. Go in there. I think Blaze was telling me about yeah. this. Go. So Kanye, Britney, people like Takashi. It's happened with other people. Okay, too. it's not the same story then. It, yeah, it's not. What it's, about him? But we can go into that from here. So a lot what? of people say they're they're actually born into that life. What you life? Know, that life of whatever it is that they become. Viral? You know, and yeah, they're, pretty pro- much they're right. programmed. Yeah. They get programmed. Like, so they get a fucking handler and they program them. That's the MK Ultra shit. That's, yeah, and they program them. And whenever they reject or fight or fight what they want or, you know, pretty much act out what you see when they act out, like when Britney Spears fucking shaved her head or. You know, when Kanye went on those fucking... All the, well, Kanye all the time? All the rants that he's been on. Yeah. Or, you know, he's done a lot of political <clears throat> political stuff, too. What about it, though? What are you saying? I'm just saying these people are hand, have handlers, man. And when they try to it's, go against the grain... It's funny you say that, though, dude. They like, try to go against the grain, and, you know, bad shit starts to happen to them, man. Like, Yeah. You know? Or they're mentally unstable. They have a lot of mental health Well, like, it's, it's weird you say that, What though, happened dude, with because, this? Like, with, like, Britney Spears, I think... From what I read in this article, dude, mm-hmm. it's it's something between Britney Spears, her dad, and maybe like the guy that's in charge what, of all her what financial. About it, though? What are they, what's happening? She doesn't want to be in it anymore. She doesn't want to be in. Like the, she wants nothing in the to do industry? with it. No, like with this dude that's in charge of everything. Who's she, in charge of everything? Who I could, don't know. Her dad? No. So, so <laughs> all right. So they're not it even says, in charge Britney of their Spears, own shit. Britney Spears is furious with her father for trying to rehire a man she claims is unadequate. Un- Adequate? Un- no, it's un- it- Equivocally? Un- unique. Whatever, dude. Uh-huh. He's unsuited Yeah. to manage her estate. Well, isn't and it made a-, a fortune off of her for years. Okay, well, all right, all right. He's a leech. He's a leech. That's enough. So we don't need to hear the guy. rest. It's um, a guy that basically Okay, but but, but 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 uh uh Britney Spears is the talent. She should choose who the fuck is in her life, regardless. Yeah. The fuck does the dad have to do with that Legally, shit? Legally, I think I've never seen that, him bro, fucking. I've never seen him fucking half naked on the stage dancing and doing all them fucking songs. 
Well, I think legally so, you can give someone that power. She's already older. No, she. No, she's fucking. If you have a psychotic, if you have like a psychotic power of attorney or something. Damn, yeah, man. exactly. Damn, if you have a breakdown, dude. Britney Spears shit. probably got herself tied up and like she can't even do nothing about her own bread. My yeah, exactly. she can't. She can't even exactly. own a weapon she, in her. Stay right. Mm-hmm. What? If you're not mentally not disabled or some kind of uh, no, but, but, too, but why y'all keep saying that's that? Here is, too. If okay, you got, okay, okay. If you got a history of a mental illness, yeah. yeah no, but why can, y'all saying that? Because she does. She does. Dude, she fucking went through a meltdown. Back okay, I know, but yeah. did they? Did that's she why, end up? That's in why a, she's in this shitty position. Okay, now. but did she end up? You know, uh, uh, being labeled mentally unstable because of that. Did she go to a? Did she stay that, at a I thing? Think anyone that does cutting off your your fucking hair don't mean shit. Did she stay in like a play like a like a back then? Did she stay in one of those she's things? She's probably been to rehab. Probably, yeah. I'm sure rehab that. for what? She don't do no drugs. No, just to fucking I the life. That, I heard that yeah. part on Santa Thurm. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, dude. But I, I'm saying it went. It got to the point, regardless where she ended up. Even if she went to a general hospital in the city, she ended up to where someone had to run her estate for her. Yeah, and that's just crazy. Or you that means you, way, no matter how you look at it, you kind of in control of her. That yeah. sucks. Her yeah, yeah. That keeping, sucks. Keeping that's keeping weird. Close eye on her. Huh? That's weird. They're keeping a close eye on her, man, because she's the paper. Yeah, I was reading when I read that Blaze. I kind of read a little bit of it, and it was saying like that she doesn't want to perform at all no more. Like she's trying to be retired, and not even be in the industry. Yeah, yeah. And she's exactly. saying that they're trying to force her to like go perform and all that. Yeah. And she's done. Yeah. She doesn't want to do music no more. They want yeah. to generate some more income. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. she's like, I, yep. I just want to chill. Like, I just want to be relaxed. And mm-hmm. and she and why can't she, dude? She's Britney Spears. She was an iconic at one point. I'm sure she has enough money to kick back for the rest of her life. She does, but someone has a choke coat on it. And she has a dude. You telling me this dude ain't checking the dad? Like, yo, man, hold up. That's my chick, bro. Yeah, like, not real. even what like the what the fuck? fuck. Yeah, that's weird. I'm going up to pops that's like, weird. hey, Britney don't want that shit. Fuck you. Know what I'm saying? He's not an alpha male. You gotta be an alpha male for that. Of course, yeah. Britney Spears. <laughs> of course, he wants to stay comfortable, bro. Yeah, but of course, Britney Spears is gonna fucking settle down with a little pansy. You know what I'm saying? She should have got herself a thug. They would have checked daddy real quick. You know what I'm saying? She fucked up. She yeah. wanted to go be with a little punk. You know what I'm saying? And if she was with another dude, he would have been like, yo, she ain't happy. Do some shit about it. She's a grown fucking woman. She don't need you to tell her shit. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I What the fuck? <coughs> Check him. Yeah. And he don't... Man, because she's with a dude. I see her post pictures with this dumbass all the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She, I, I follow her on Instagram. Britney Spears, oh, bro. Oh, for real? Yeah. And, you know, she looks like she's doing all right to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I mean... Well, she ain't gonna be, like, fucking struggling. But I'm saying, like, she's in a good relationship. She's not like she's... Lonely and you know she's got a like man. She ain't hurt. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Like she's they, a totally they probably ain't telling the real right? story. Yeah, she no. probably goes to Starbucks every morning. Yeah, like she's totally normal now. <laughs> she's just complying again because she knows how bad they were gonna fuck her shit up. Well, look, look. I wanna, I wanna also say I should, you know what? I, I might even put a warning at the beginning of this episode. Yeah. But all of this is not speculation. Fact. In speculation. fact, it's sci-fi ish. What? You know what I mean? Everything we're talking about. What it's do you mean not, sci-fi-ish? It's sci-fi-ish. How? It's not fact for fact because we can't prove uh, that. Yeah, yeah. No, it. exactly. That's why I say yeah. everything is alleged. Yeah, this is all... Allegedly. Yeah. I yeah. just want it to be clear. That's it. That's yes, it. yes, yes. Allegedly all this stuff. We don't know. We can't it's pinpoint. It's just fun to talk about. Yes, you know? exactly. We're drinking. And, Corona yeah. did come yeah. from China. <laughs> <laughs> Except for that. That's fact, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> so that so that that Britney Spears, I don't know what's going on with her, bro, but I hope she figures it out because she's a grown ass woman. For sure. She doesn't shitty, need bro. to be asking for nothing from nobody because she's the talent. She's the one that did it. She's the one that spent her life on the road. She's the one that she's always been the the. the if that family's doing good, it's because of that girl. Let that girl do what she wants to do now. She's a yeah. fucking legend, bro. Yeah, she's yeah. a legend, dude. Yeah. When she came out with the schoolgirl thing, bro. Oh my god, she's dude. respected in history forever. She, she for broke. That. She broke the world, bro. Bro, hey, she's right there with the. Yeah. Pink she stopped Ranger, the dude. world right there. Yeah, that Britney the Spears. Ranger. She broke that the world Britney with Spears that video like changed everything. News. That cover of Rolling Stone. Baby, baby. It's killing me, baby. I know, I know. Those are the yeah, fucking Yeah, I can't words. believe. Can't believe. <laughs> <laughs> wrong word. Blaze, Blaze word. is fact checking over here. Those are the words, bro. Hey, those are the words. <laughs> no, yeah, you right. My confidence, it's killing me. Baby. I want to know, do you still believe? It is the word. Still that believe. Is the word. Every day, I, I think of mind. you. Thinking of you. I lose you. my mind, right? Is it I lose my mind? 
Hit me, baby, one more time. I don't want to check, dude. But I, I got, I got, I got, I got uh, somebody fell off hey, the lyrics. Something like that, bro. <laughs> Anyways, Britney Spears, man, we hey, good vibes to you, girl. I hope you figured out and push these people out your motherfucking life. Cause I got a question for everybody. Yeah, what? No, go ahead, dude. I want to know everybody on the panel tonight. What? Uh huh. That's uh-huh. personal opinion. Whoa. <laughs> Sure. On, the, on the Kyle Rittenhouse situation. I've been lying a lot today. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I've been lying a lot today. Hey, Fire up your engines. Close. What? Here we go. I want everybody's wait, wait, wait. opinion okay, on okay. the Kyle hey, Rittenhouse. Let me know, let me know first. Let me know first. Let me close my eyes. Yeah. Go. Whoever wants to go first. Go ahead. No, do I don't know. I don't what? know what the situation is. What are you saying? I didn't hear it. I'm going to give a I'm giving the boat to Jono. What are you saying? I didn't hear it. No, lay the background story. Yeah, go. All right, Kyle Rittenhouse, man. He's a young man. Nobody heard of Kyle Rittenhouse in this room. No. No. Young kid from wow. YouTube or something. Young no, kid no. from upstate caught a murder case. Oh, okay. Shit. Okay. Uh, he I was will... out there defending property. Oh. Doing Kenosha. the American thing. In Kenosha. Oh. In Kenosha. Okay. okay. And uh, he was about to get killed. So he killed somebody. But all he did was get robbed. All him. Yeah. he did was defend his own life. That's right. So now he's in a very tight situation. No I, I have, I'm pretty confident he'll get out. Okay, but what yeah, happened? Too, right? what happened? Who is he? Kyle yeah. has is a 17 year old boy from. He's upper, the one that shot the people in the York. in the fucking uh, uh, in the fucking uh, in the riots. Yeah, in the riots. So why he, he was stopping the rioters after the after the the Blake shooting? Yeah, he was he is was he stopping the one on rioters. Video? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was out there with the AK. With the I know rifle? who you're talking about, the kid. Yeah, where he fucked up. All right, all right, all right, all right. I know the story. I know the story. All right, the kid, that. so he so he was out there with the protesters. He shot people. No, nah, he wasn't with the protesters. Okay, so what he was No, he was fighting. There? He was trying to he was shot at protesters. And Tifa no. and Black Lives Matter was attacking a, a historic business. You know, somebody asked History. for help for a business front. Uh they were trying to burn it down and bring bring it, you know. Looted. Yeah, yeah, they were yeah. trying to loot it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he came out with his militia. He was pretty, part of a militia. Well, pretty okay. much they had been patrolling that night, right? Yeah. yeah. He was there. He had a medic bag on. He was getting giving protesters that would be injured. He was dressing their wounds or helping out if someone was injured. Also, they were protecting a gas station there in Kenosha of a family friend. So right. he came into town because he's a lifeguard there. He had been at work okay. there earlier. Okay, so, so y'all pumping him up, making him look like such a great person. Okay, what so else? All right, what's the story? Yeah, he's come out. What the fuck did he do? So the fuck a, the nigga do? Hey, out, y'all already giving us, a, the, giving us the whole story on this kid. I don't give a shit he's where he a went to high school. What happened? Kenosha. All right, cool. He could swim. What he, else? He was there. He was there to work or whatever. Let's hear the story. A friend had asked him if he could You're selling him to me. Just tell me what he did. Well, the points he's trying to make is what... Oh, he's a great kid. So what I'm about to tell you is it doesn't matter because he used to save niggas that were drowning. Fuck, <laughs> he tell the story. Oh what did he Chandler. do? I'm trying right? to give you a backstory so it right, This sense. is right here. Blah, 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 blah. Let's hear what he did. Yeah. All right. Oh, because you're leveraging him to a point yeah. where... Yeah. Thank okay. you, Blaze. Yeah. He's trying to like yeah. sell me the kid before right, he tells well, what he did. I'm going to go ahead and put the cherry on top. He was oh, removing God. graffiti the same night. Yes. Oh, yes. oh God! Right. Whoa! <laughs> you're telling me they're trying to lock up Jesus? We, no, he was removing no, graffiti. I, I refuse. We need to make no, a check fucking this out. me right now. Check this out. All right, so no, he's, fuck he's this. I'm writing a letter. He's removing <laughs> angry he's removing, email. He's removing graffiti. Okay, the yeah. same night. All right, all right, all right. So he's a go. lifeguard. I'm gonna listen. I'm just stop. Damn, dude. He's, this he goes to a lifeguard. He right, goes okay. to help. Yes. A family friend with uh, a, a business owner. Oh, and they right. hand him just the, for the, the the assault rifle. The family business. The family business handles the assault rifle. Oh, not like the hands media, him an assault rifle. Not like the media says he crossed state lines with it. Well, why didn't they defend their own? They had an assault rifle. Why didn't they defend their own shit? Why they give him a gun? Because they asked for his help to defend the property. I'm, don't hand me a gun. If somebody, if I'm in that position and somebody's like, take this AK-47, I'm like, wait, wait, nigga, wait, wait, you shoot wait, it. wait, 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 wait. You gotta so, see the video. So, so, you gotta so, see the video. So, hold on, I, see, hold on, I know hold exactly on, what you're talking on, about. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So he's part of a militia, but he grabs a rifle from them. No, no, no. no, no. The, the His store, the store, the, get, the, the 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 person that owns the listen, Blake, the person that owned the His store, friend's family handed him an AK-47. It was an and said protect the store. AR-15, not right? an AK. Yes, but where's the militia play? In any of this, there was a group of militia he, there. There's protesters about to fuck That's it up. About 250 people in about the to fuck lot up the store. Business. Okay. They're about to tear it so down. So they tell him, "Save us." Hand him an AK. No, they had rifles too. Okay, they give him one. They have them too. Yeah. So they're okay. about to like Everyone, stand up for everything, basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's why it. we needed to know it. that he was a lifeguard. Yes. So 
And then so like, now, cause see, yeah. right? Cause now you know okay. a lifeguard would do that. I saw the video. <laughs> hey, hey, he was about to get fucked up, bro. Yeah, I mean, he was right, about right, to right, get yeah. fucked up. I'll tell I you mean, what happened. So the reason I'm why gonna I'm, cut, I'm gonna cut to the to the end. <clears throat> thank right? you, please. I'm gonna cut to the end. Yes. <clears throat> Kid goes to put a, a dumpster fire. Okay. Somebody that he had words with earlier tries yeah. to get him to stop. Chases him. Tries to disarm him. Throws but he's not even in the store no more. He's running around in the street. No. He went to go put out a dumpster fire. Okay. A literal dumpster fire. In front of the store. And he earlier had words with a guy there. Yes. At, in front of the gas station. Uh-huh. He went to go put that out. Yeah. Dude tried to fuck him up while he was trying to do that. Try to d- disarm him. Take his rifle from him. Yes. He took off, ran, was trying to evade. Was trying yeah. to evade. This dude... Followed him. Followed him, chased him down the street, threw something at him. Some yeah. people say it was a Molotov. Somebody said it was a bag with a rock inside right. it. Um, <clears throat> he turned around. So there was a shot fired. Yeah. The first shot that was fired didn't come from his gun. Yeah. The second shot, third shot, fourth shot, and fifth shot were Kyle's, the four shots from his rifle. Yeah. After he heard that first shot, he turned around and popped this dude in the head. So the guy that was first, running after him killed him. First, first, okay. first dude goes down. No, he killed the guy that was running after him. Exactly. And then what? Then who else? First dude goes down. One dude. Mob sees like, oh my God, they shot him in the head, whatever. The mob comes to him. Oh, shit. Mob comes to him. And at this point, he had already mm-hmm. ran around the car, came back and checked on dude that he shot, made a call to police that were around the corner, mm-hmm. mind you. So the kid, Kyle, was calling the cops. He's like, I just, I just shot Yo, somebody. come. Right. Okay. Alleged. Yes. Okay. So, <clears throat> after that, he sees mob coming towards him. They start chasing him, and he's, he's running. Like, he's fucking booking it with the fucking AR. And then one dude comes behind him, swipes him, knocks the hat off his head. Whoa. Catches back up, swipes him, and nearly misses him again. Then he trips. Yes, I've seen this part. Okay, he trips. Yes. Right when he trips, some dude comes out from the side and tries to Superman kick him in the fucking head. Yeah. He turns around, shoots, pow, misses Ooh. him. Yeah. Okay. Another dude comes right after that. At, right after he kicked, like almost simultaneously with a skateboard. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Hits him in the back of the head. He comes up, pow, shoots him in the chest. Oh, does he Second die? Second guy down, dead. Okay. Go okay. on. Okay. Third guy comes up to him and he 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 like he's, he has a phone in his hand and he has the other one up. And then he pulls a Glock on him. Oh. Gets his fucking forearm blown the fuck off. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Yep. That motherfucker's yeah, straight yeah, yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. And you could see the motherfucker with the Glock still in his hand with his, <laughs> oh, with his arm yeah, hanging yeah. off. Damn. Shit. It's fucking raw. So, look how fuck these dudes up. Yes. Because they were chasing a fucking were, yeah. a retreating person who had an AR-15 yes, rifle. Yes, yes. Not shooting into a crowd of protesters. Mm-mm. What state is this happening in? He never shot Kenosha. anywhere else. He's, Kenosha. But what is it? Where is that? What state? Uh, What is it? What? It's uh, next door to Illinois. So, uh, but over Wisconsin. there is uh, it's Wisconsin, not, Wisconsin, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. Okay. The reason why I asked that is, are they lo- allowed to have those kinds of guns out there that he had? So the law says any person under the age of eighteen can carry a long arm. From the way, from everything you just told me, I think that that kid, uh, uh, that's self defense. Everything. Yeah. It's yeah. I would have. From everything you just said to yeah, me. But yeah, but. They're portraying him as a white supremacist. Yeah. As um, mm-hmm. they're portraying him as a, a Trump, a Trump radical, uh, radical right, alt right, white supremacist, all kinds of shit. They're painting him in a bad light. Media saying one thing, and this is what really happened. Well, I mean, the proof is in the video. In the media honestly. lies. Yeah, so the if video. You just watch the video. It's the like, video. The on, full man. video. You see it all. Yeah. 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 Well. Because I saw the video before I even knew any of this, and I was like, that's fucked up that they actually did this dude. Yeah, they were saying that he was like a mass shooter. He was shooting into 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 crowds of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Into the crowds of protesters. Oh, and they painted it like this. They were shooting... He he was a mass shooter at a peaceful protest. Is he... Okay, but is he currently locked up? Yeah. Yep. He can't even get a bail? Like, I don't care who you are, bro. You hit me with a skateboard. I'm, he was a normal yeah. 17-year-old kid. He yeah. didn't have, like, yeah, I think they, his family had money. They were going to kill him, man. But there's a, lot of people yeah. Yeah, helped, exactly. like, there's a lot of people back, trying to back him up and get him out. So they started to yeah. go fund me or for what's him. what's going on? And they got up to, like, 185000 and they took it down. They took it away. They took down, they canceled his GoFundMe. But do you think so given, that's, that's when but the, do you think given the way the times are right now, given the way everything, the direction everything's been going, you know what I mean, everything that's been happening in the world lately, do you think he, he, he there's no chance for him to win just based on the way the world is right now? No, I think he'll get out. You do? I think he'll get out. He's going to get out. He got a pro huh? bono lawyer. He's going to be exonerated. He'll be that's exonerated true. of his crime. Yeah. 
Uh, you know it what? Not, you based based on the story, lawyer, you know what? It might not be. But one now year. I know why you told it, me everything else. It, it, it might not be in one year or two years from now. There's gonna be like litigations. I'm sure people are gonna, you know, oh, say man. shit. And Ed, that might he might if be every, locked up for like three years. I mean, if everything you you're telling know. me is the way it happened, bro, that's like that's self defense. Like he, yeah, he protected clearly himself. Clearly, what it is. But people are they're gonna kill. Online, they would have killed. They're, kill, like, they're, they're trying to. They were gonna beat him. Murder. Yeah, they were gonna beat his ass. People are calling him a murderer. Like. How can you defend a seventeen-year-old kid? And he's a fucking murderer. He killed three people. A fucking mess. You're this and that. But people on people are actually saying that he's a fucking murderer. You know, and that kind of bothers me because, it, like, I know people have different views on things. But when you see something and it's there and it's in front of you and you see how it happened and you choose not to see it, that's a problem. Exactly. That's a problem, and people need to start realizing that it's yeah. not about emotion. It's about what fucking happened. It's fact. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Like, and also he turn stood, off your he fucking for televisions. Man. He stood for turn some. off he your went... fucking televisions. Turn yeah. them off. Mm-hmm. Turn them the fuck uh, off. Man, <laughs> I don't know, man. It's deep. It gets deep because he did it in this time. So it's like man, he did I don't it know, at like, the appropriate time. Well, I mean, there's no other time that this would happen. For y'all, it is. But on the other side, they 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 don't want to see it. They're, there's people that don't want to see him get out of this too. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know what all I mean? they do over there is. Like to push those, an agenda. Yeah, all they have an agenda have on this side too. Crime rates, man. Everywhere you know what I'm that this has happened, they have horrible crime rates. Yeah, Seattle horrible crime rates. Chicago horrible crime rates. Philadelphia horrible crime rates. Like every fucking one of those cities that they protested in. Did he work Portland. at that store or something? No. He, Why was he, he there? Was a, he was a lifeguard there in the town of Kenosha. That he yeah, was, but how did he end up at the store all of a sudden in the middle friends. of the family family friends, friend asked so. him to come help. Yeah, come help that there's a militia forming to come protect my dad's and, gas yeah, station. Yeah, in case a lot of people come don't understand us. about militias, yeah, there's tons of them here in America right yeah. now. There's tons. Exactly. Of they're not spoken of, but there's tons of them. Heavy in and Texas, the purpose dude. of them is to stand up at times like this. Yes. To stand up at times yes. of tyranny. Get and, up, you know? defend your country, your yeah. your family. Like we're gonna be the cops of our own. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, yeah. that's wow. So that's another thing too that the, the media won't tell you. At the time of that riot, police had been told to stand down or they'll be defunded. Their police yeah. department. And they can't do nothing. They literally, they cannot do so anything. So the people you. out here uh, make doing all these crimes and shit like that. They're like, taking like, advantage. Yeah, so they, who's going to protect us? But they're paid. They're yeah. paid. Protect ourselves, right? Yeah. That's why they call the militia because the cops weren't coming. Yeah. You have to protect yourself. You have to protect your own. This We're actually living in some parts of the United States with a world without rule of law. <sighs> Man. Because, because of defund the police. And who, st- who started that movement? Defund the police. Black movement. Lives Matter. You know what that makes me think of? That we're talking about how the law, like everybody right now, it's a big thing that the laws need to be changed. The everything needs to be changed and done a certain way differently to, you know, so that it's fair. Blah blah blah. All the stuff they're talking about right now, right? So this is what, this is what happens over in Georgia, right? It's called Freedom Georgia. So basically, this is what happens: nineteen families bought ninety acres of land to create a brand new community together from scratch. They're going to do the police from scratch. They're going to do the, the, the rules in that town from scratch. Everything like that. So this is like, this family is like trying religion to start too? civilization of their own. No, I ain't saying about religion. But trying to start, basically start their own so, their own little community and with their own rules. So that's that, tight. Yeah. But do you think that that like... There's been many versions of that. Though. Well, yeah, it, exactly. but is that not, that's not uh, illegal commune? to do that in America? Yeah, yeah communes. That's commune exactly what it the is. Place. Yeah. There's communes there. Free places where people come and stay, but you just got to do your part. But I think this one's the, I guess the reason why it's crazy is because it's like they're trying to start over all the laws. Everything. Like, like they, their like own. Like they won't be governed by laws right. outside Something like their that. Yeah. Are they going to allow it though? Well, also too, they're going to do, uh, they're going to film everything. They're going to show, rea- they're going to make it into a reality Vice show. did something like that and they yeah. called it the slab. That'd be like, that'd be like Texas breaking off of the USA and becoming And its doing own, its own thing. And becoming yeah. its own. Right. Own piece of. You know, and how can they do that on on on, on the United <coughs> States ground though? Like they can just do that. I, I mean, think I got, as far as you as as long as you have the property, and I don't know what the fee is to establish. And you kind of pay a tax yeah. or something. Yeah, or, some shit. Uh, I, I'm sure they looked into it. They wouldn't go this far. I saw like video of it or whatever when I saw it, and there's like a shitload of cars out there already camping. Like they're just like planning. That's a killer cool as Killer fuck, Mike dude. show on Netflix. He was doing something. Yeah, kind of like Killer that. Mike. Yeah, 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 yeah. Killer Mike did do that. You're right. What do you they, do? He like they, he like had them start communities and all that to kind of show them like in their own government. Yeah, and, like what they could do, but that's they how, don't know. That, that, that's how, that's the, how Native uh, Americans live on their on their fucking reservations, man. They have their own laws, their own people, their own high schools, their own uh, districts. Uh, Nothing's tied to our U.S. government. They would have you? 
They have their own reservations. So would you watch this? Because this is all going to be filmed. It's going to be a show. That's tight. Yeah. I'll, watch it. I'll check it out. I'll yeah. keep it. I'll watch it. It's going to be called... Of, uh, it's going to be called... Mike. I saw that one with the Crip Colas. Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's just tight. It's, hey, it's yeah, gonna, it was in that same season. Yeah. If you do yeah. want to... If y'all do want to see it when it does come around, it's going to be called Freedom Georgia. That's what the, the show is going to be called. Freedom Georgia. Oh, okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. Um... Um... Football's back. Blah. You don't care? <laughs> no. I give a fuck. I've been watching it. Well, I, 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 I just I've been watching it. I've been watching a few know. games. I probably I'm should not gonna care. lie. I probably should. Those I watched. I watched Brady. I, hate, I watched Brady play on the down the Buccaneers. How they do? Eh. He, <laughs> he didn't. He's he wasn't. Yeah. It's just there. But and he Cam. was. But he was playing against the that, Patriots. How did Cam do? Cam Newton. Man, they killed him, bro. Oof. No, no, no. He wasn't playing against the Patriots. Who was he playing against? The Buccaneers against the... I watched it the other day. Damn, who did he play against? He, oh, it was the New Orleans. New Orleans, what? they whooped him, bro. New Orleans? Yeah, New Orleans beat Yeah, New Saints, Orleans I heard beat have a pretty Sample nasty Bay. team this year. From yeah, heard, they were looking good. From what I've heard, around they were looking good. the OR... The, and I watch the Texans. We got creamed like a motherfucker. And, we played and, the Chiefs. We got our ass whooped and booed at the same time. Damn, Damn. shitty dude. Fuck. What they get, get booed, booed for? And they have the for staying their ass in the locker games. room during the national anthem. Good, good. Fuck well, em. I mean, that's how Fuck they em. felt. Fuck them. I mean, if they felt like that was the way of staying out of it altogether, I mean, why? Is, why? Yeah, how do you know they weren't kneeling back there? It's disrespectful, man. I mean, or how do you know they weren't, uh, you know... I think if they want to take a stand and show that they don't agree with times, they should put their or money where their mouth is. social exactly. Yeah. I think everybody wanna, should stop wanna, being... I think everybody should stop being so scared of being judged and just do what they want. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. Just free world... Yeah, that's a bullshit excuse for. We just to be look, we just need to we just need to have like a, a like we need we need to build our filter better to where like yeah. it's like just be okay with this person being that way like. Yeah, fuck but you. it's not because Why like, these it? people are trying. They're affecting our lives. It how Who? that's like, on you, JJ. What all that shit that affects <laughs> that is how JJ what affecting your life. All these fucking movements that are out here, all this shit that's going on in the streets, it's all tied back to that shit. That's true. To JJ what? To sports, to NFL, to MLB. That makes people walk around with a chip on their shoulder. To different media st- stations, different news channels. Like, mm-hmm. and all, the, all that profit goes back to them. It creates all, tension. It creates that's tension. That's they're fear mongering. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But tension. as soon as their fucking money comes on the line, like, nah, they're going to What play, do you think, Blaze? Because you know? the first you're person, very, uh, when you're at home wait, wait. and you're the guy... You know, you're the yeah. first. The first person you see is a celebrity or the football player. Exactly. The what do you think? Let me ask Blaze. You know? Blaze uh, is very sensible. Uh, Let me ask him because he's a very peaceful, uh, roll off the shoulder type of guy. So I like to hear that. I want to hear it. Want to hear what he thinks? Do are you offended because they do whatever it is they do in the NFL? Does it offend you for real? You? Do you get offended? I honestly don't care. I don't either. I don't, but see, I don't care about sports, dude. I never really. No, no, no we're not talking like, about the sports. We're talking about like, does it bother you that they have done everything that they've done to kind of like be against, you know, America or whatever the hell? Like, you know, they feel it, it, there's a lot of injustice, and they're they're like, I can't, well, like I can't put, I can't stand up for a country that wouldn't, that don't give a fuck about me. Like, if they think that way. Is it bad that they think that way? Like, does you see what I'm saying? Yeah, no, no, I don't care. It doesn't affect the celebrities. Care. It affects that person at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? That normal Joe that goes to work. It affects them. How? It doesn't affect those million affect dollar them? celebrities. No, but how does it affect them? Like the in, you know the injustice and all that. You all those things that you oh, know, society's. Oh, so you're saying why do they care saying, when they're not going through it? Yeah, yeah. The the celebrities that make oh, all this money. Uh, if they wanted to make a if they, if they wanted to make a because difference, they're doing it though I mean, to feed. They they're doing all they're these good because they don't want to be look JJ Watt don't want to be out there and then like. And then look to me is this the Texans stayed out of. Out I'm of not their, saying about anything about JJ Watt. JJ okay, Watt but, actually did a lot for Houston, especially. Okay, yes, of course. JJ Watt's a great guy, but look, like, listen to what I'm saying. They probably said, "Let's stay our ass in here," and so that we're not we're indifferent and we don't want problems with nobody. Because look, if JJ Watt went out there and he didn't kneel, but everyone else did, then he's in trouble for day because he did it. Well, yeah. Everybody, oh man, JJ Watt's against black people. They oh, they would have went after him. Yeah. That, because just because he's like, yo, ha- I don't want nothing to do happened. with none of this. That already happened. I'm here to play football, bro. They are, that already I don't happened. care about that. I'm here I to play mean, football. On, so they probably thought if we stay in the fucking locker room, we're indifferent. We don't want problems with y'all. We don't want problems with y'all. You don't think they never felt social injustice growing up? I mean, they weren't always rich. What's wrong with not wanting to pick a side at all? Nothing. 
There's I hate no, that. No why do we have to be one or the other? Be, why you can't be neutral? Yes. There's no reason. Yes. You can be, but you got to understand how that upsets I love, some for me, I don't think Colin Kaepernick was wrong. And I don't think that Americans that are mad, like people that were in the army, are wrong for being mad at him for it. Right. I can see both sides is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And that's what I'm trying to say. Why does it, why are people so afraid? For instance, those football players didn't want to go out there because they didn't want to get bashed for not, if they do something, they get bashed for it. If they do, don't do it, they get bashed for so they're like, so yo, it's a, it's a, it's a non. That's yeah, what I'm it's saying. fucked anyway. It's a, it's a move. Yeah. Like, it's a there's move no winning. There's no winning. You it, can't for make instance, everyone happy. Look, let's dude. say LeBron James yeah. didn't want to be involved in all the social media and all that stuff, and he was the only one that he'd go play play in the how they're playing now, and he didn't wear nothing on his jersey, like he didn't put you know uh, uh, equality and all the stuff they've been doing in the NBA. Let's say LeBron said he didn't want to do that at all. He doesn't want to be involved. He'd be in, he'd be he would have got bashed for not doing it. He'd be in trouble. But that, why can't he just go play basketball? You see what I'm saying? I'm just this because, is a stipulation because obviously because he is. There are people he is BLM of, there, and all there, that stuff. There are all the way. People of influence. They have too much of it. <clears throat> but that look, is the problem. But you see what I'm saying? If LeBron didn't that do is, nothing, let's say in the weird world, LeBron said, "I don't want nothing to do with none of this." He would have got bashed for not caring. Exactly. Okay. That's you the know problem. they bashed Jordan. But that's the, the price they, they bashed. They no. bashed they Jordan. To, they wanted to be in that life. That's the life. Check they this live. out. Check this out. They, they back, in the back in them days when Jordan. Back in them days when Jordan was super popular, they used to bash him all the time because he wouldn't step forward and be like vote for Democrats or whatever. Like he stayed the fuck. He didn't want to say shit. And they would bash him. Oh, he doesn't care about. He don't give a fuck about being black. Blah blah blah. He won't even stand up. He won't even uh, try to push a good agenda. He won't. Dog, maybe Jordan don't want no fucking problems with nobody, bro. He's just trying to make well, his bread. That's I why call he, it a smart that, move. That's why he. You made, see what I'm saying? Like, that's why he made yeah. it as far as he did. I mean, shit. but you see, when I'm saying Blaze, everybody was bashing the, the black community was bashing Jordan because he wasn't voting because he wasn't coming out speaking on injustices and like they were like, yo, why doesn't you're the biggest figure? We buy your shoes. We're the because it's not saying, his business. Exactly, it's none of our fucking business. But why is it nowadays it feels like people can't say it ain't my business no more? Because yeah. it's all out yeah. in the fucking open. Right yeah. now, it's everything's on right fire here. at different times. Man. It's all there. And that's what I'm saying, hand, dude, man. man. I, I, can, I, I guess what I'm trying to say, I was playing devil's advocate showing y'all, I, I can see from a person like that's out there gonna about to go play football from their standpoint. Like, I don't want to be yeah. ridiculed for if I do or if I don't. Like, I'm just here to play ball, bro. Like, yeah. you see what I'm saying? Like, I can be, yeah. I can see how a football player would feel that way. Why do you have to pick a side? Why do you have to be involved in any of it? Why do you, why can't you just play football, bro? I don't think they have to. Some just passionate about it. And that's yeah. cool. And that's what I mean. But the one that doesn't... And that's what I'm saying. Let's say Watt went out there and uh, all his whole team kneeled, but he didn't. Because he feels... He believes in whatever he believes. Why is he a bad person for thinking but that? You, you see... But you see what I'm trying that, to say? Yeah, but we're free. We can do whatever exactly. we want to do. That yeah. still sends exactly. a message, though. That still sends a message to the younger people in the com- in the community. Like, that still sends messages to them. Like, it's a... Like, people are, like, burning fucking flags in the streets and all fucking kinds of shit. And it all stems back to all that shit. The influence they have. Yeah. I mean, this is I mean, America. We got the freedom to do whatever we want. If we want to burn How do you flag, feel? How do you feel, flag. John? Yeah. You personally, you True. feel like whenever... Personally... If- I'm indifferent what the fuck NFL teams do. I don't give a fuck. Because like, right. I don't watch sports. I don't keep up with it. But how do you feel about the Texans not coming out? Oh, how did you take it when you heard about it? I didn't even know the Texans played. Oh, well, you, Bray. Same. What did you yeah. think? <laughs> I mean, I feel like... How do you feel that that... that, that well, what do you think? I'm pretty sure every person in America right now... Yeah. I'm positive. They love this country. Now, if you to grab yes. any one of us and say... Fuck you! You're going to fucking Egypt or Australia. You're gonna be like, hold up! I'm American. Yeah, right. keep that same energy, man. Ooh. You know, there you go. You Ooh. know what I'm saying? Hey. Rip. Yeah. I mean, right now you and need. He's not yeah. right now. The country needs an uplifting. Yeah. we don't need we don't more. Need we don't messages. need batter, more fire, more fucking fumes. Yeah. We need someone to say, hey man, y'all chill, man. Watch us play. Let's do this. This is America. They need an uplift, yeah. not a not a negative. Yeah, that's all. They could go about it differently. Let's yeah, just say that. They have the resources to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't even know we were gonna go into all that. To be totally honest with you, I just put, I just like, well was put, like Bryce. you know, football's back. <laughs> well put. You know what I'm saying? I didn't ever think about Thanks, that, but it. but that's true, dude. Uh, I don't know if y'all know, but Patty Labelle and Gladys Knight had a battle. They did a versus too. Right. Old school shit. Who won? I don't know. I'm I'm guessing Patty Labelle. What did yeah. their age show? What do you mean? In their voice. Well, they didn't sing. They just kind of like played the songs and they sang a little bit to them and all that. They didn't, you know, basically like if you've watched one of these verses, you know how it is. 
How about so, the views on it? Like, did it beat one of the other ones? It didn't beat... Uh, mm-hmm. It got a lot of views, but it didn't beat... Like, Brandy mm-hmm. and them are still the top one, I top think. Top one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it got a lot of views. It had a lot of views going too. It was very, you know, big too. But yeah. you know, it's it's old school, bro. Not too I many mean, people know about. That they, that's good. You know, they Gladys Knight too. and all yeah. that. You know, not too many people know about that so kind of shit. These are all your, y'all's podcasts, then. What do you mean? The podcast that y'all have gone over. What do you mean? Is that what you're talking about? The numbers. No, we're talking about the numbers on these when they do the oh, verses. Okay, okay. They do it on IG on the and they yeah, and they the, calculate the views. views. Okay. Well, Brandy did one versus Monaco too, not too long ago, and it's. It's it right tight. now is the top it one. Pretty good, dude. Mm. So now they did this one, and it's older stuff, dude. Like whatever. So I'm probably sure a lot of people don't really yeah. care. You turn on? Did you pay attention to it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Are, do you like any of that stuff though? Uh, I mean, I the like older some shit. Old, yeah, I like some old school shit. Yeah, like it's it's like like soul, Al right? Green. So yeah, Al it's Green, like old school. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Okay, cool. What do you raise? You like the older shit like that oh, too? Yeah, yeah, I gotta have that. That's I like the it too. Stuff you gotta jam when you, you know. I thought it was cool for I thought it was cool for for um I thought it was cool for you know anybody like you know like a- any of these battles the, the the dopest shit about it is nostalgia you forget about all these songs and then you go back and listen to That's them and true. then you're just like damn I forgot them. how dope that was yeah. damn I forgot I listened damn I forgot we used to like that song damn it's, That's how it was with it's the all no nostalgia limit, with the no limit exactly thing. right yeah, like, like it, you dig into a no limit catalog to find all this it's like. You they forget about n- this stuff. They call it nostalgia because you know what? When you were jamming that shit, you didn't really have too many of that problems, bro. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Yes. That's true. Think about how that's much you love music and the, at the yeah. lowest points of your life. Or think about how much you love music at the times of your life where you had no worries. Like, music was like, yeah. man, yeah, dude. Bro. It's Definitely. different. It's like Damn. there's a soundtrack to everyone's life. Yeah. That's right? right? Yep. And that's why music is always going to be important, dude. Right. You can't put a price on it. You know what I'm saying? It, it's a time, time it's, machine, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll just take you man, exactly. I love that you said Let's that. Let's talk Whoa. about time travel. <laughs> <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need roads. <laughs> hey. So check this out, dude. Who do you think fights more for a relationship to stay together, a man or a woman? Oh, definitely a man. You think a man fights more than a woman to keep a relationship together? Yep, I agree. Absolutely. A man? A man? Yes. No. She. Is. You think that? I think okay, so. okay, before we get into the debating. Well, it, you know what? Hold on. Let's find out everybody's answer. Before disclosure, before okay. disclosure. Yes. I guess each one, each person will view that the certain way. Yeah. That's why yeah. we're going to discuss it. Yeah. But at the end of the day, personally, I feel. That a man. That a man does. Okay. Bla- Eternal, what do you think? I just want to hear all the opinions first. I think it depends on the relationship. Exactly. It really depends okay, on how you like, uh, as a Okay, but like, who do you feel more percentagely? Who do you think, like, let's say like that, to make it easier. Who do you, you think, Eternal? Well, maybe I'll bullshit aside with probably equally. No. Hold on, hold on, who do you think, Eternal? It's just as hard to stay Where are your hair jerseys? You said men. Eternal. Uh, <laughs> women. I'm going to say women also. It just depends. So now uh, we're 50-50. You're the tiebreaker. Oh, hold on. Look, here's the thing, bro. Like, yeah, fix a seat for that one. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? I think women, dude. Women? I think women have to put up with the shit. Oh yeah, I feel like they're definitely more patient of a creature. No, it's just in sheer numbers. <laughs> no, yeah, no. But, but he's saying he's but, saying a fight though. Like, who fight? We need a woman. Hey, we need a woman. Be careful. Hey, no, no, but, but, hey, but. Blaze. But I will tell you this: a lot of men do, but it also depends on who holds the power in the relationship. Well, it yeah. also depends I mean, on how hey, much of a piece Blaze. of shit you are, too, though. Exactly. So you know? it's like Good whoever point. holds the shift yeah. of power, yeah, exactly. like who's in the. But it who, also depends how much of a piece of shit you are. And a lot of mm. a lot you, of men. What you put in is what you get, though. What you put in is what you get. Okay, but you're still exactly. saying that a man does more, fights more to keep it together. And why did you come to that? Because it's harder for us to fucking think logically. Do me a favor, Blaze. No. Blaze. Look, the man. <laughs> the man is a provider, the protector, and he just goes in first. Mm-hmm. In every household, I don't care. Yeah, that's right. To fight for the relationship, but the position fight for of the power is relationship, relationship yeah, slash family. Okay, you know what but I'm we're saying? just talking about the relationship. Oh, okay, okay, all right, all right. Y'all breaking up, y'all going through whatever. Because when and you say relationship, the one that... I think about my family. Okay, no, no, no. Think, separate yourselves out of any of this shit and just be yeah, thinking just a relationship, think of relationship, not your life, nigga, a life, a life. Yes, but the position of power is changing. <clears throat> Women are becoming more. Do this. I, I kind of want to tell Jess to come in here and and, and tell us a, from a woman's perspective. Hey, we'll have outtakes and we'll bring everyone in here or some shit. Well, you just want. just bring we'll one just, person, whoever yeah, yeah, y'all yeah. pick. But let's just get their opinion. Yeah, right. I'm bullshit. While we're here, <laughs> I'm here now. Let's let's like now pop. now. 
I want to know. We're already talking about it. All right, hold on. I want to get a woman's opinion on what does a woman think who fights more for the relationship to stay together. Oh, I right, I Jessica's said a woman. Perfect for this. Look, thing. I said a woman, and the reason why I said a woman but is a because wo- but a woman will say, "I have to put up with more bullshit than anybody else just to stay with your bitch ass." Yeah, mm. uh, that's what they'll say, and they'll talk to us like that too. They'll talk to you like that. They ain't talking to me it. like that. From what I've seen. <laughs> yo. From what yo, I've seen. I'm, yo. Not I'm not talking about personal experience. No, no, no. <laughs> Nobody talking to me like that. I'm saying about the shit I've no, seen. Man. Like, yeah, I guess. No, sir. Like reality TV shows I don't like and shit. Yeah. Okay, so I, the reason why I say a woman, bro, is because... Dude. I think they care more at the end. Like, they're more like... I think they care more at no, the end. Man, I think no, man. Because I, I don't... I, think, I mean, that sounds like the woman thing they would say. But like, see, I, they're dude, that's a subjective end, point they're of view. Right well, I think a woman doesn't throw in the towel until she... I think when a woman throws in the towel, she been thrown in the towel years ago, but she just not really threw it. Yeah, but we could say the same shit. I, I, I mean, don't think so. A I man think, can bite his tongue a million times, that's too. That's right. I think yeah. a man acts on... And keep a calm face. I think a man... Yeah, exactly. Act normal. I think a woman, if she goes to that degree, it's like... I mean... I don't know, bro. I just feel like they care more, bro. Like, they care more in the end. Like, to keep it together. But it depends mm. on the woman, dog. Uh, and not, But not if she got a new man in her head. What if she's prideful and If she got a new a man fuck. in her head, she ain't gonna care. Oh, no. Yeah. Right? Uh-uh. You Okay, look, look, look. Do you think man. it's more more so all the time it's, it's a woman that, that's, that's... I mean, a man's being... A woman's being influenced by another man to move that way than it's a man being influenced by another woman to get out of the relationship? Which one do you think is more? I think because honestly, I'm gonna tell you real from a man's perspective. I'm gonna tell you like this: it's the way it's the way things are going with this guy that's got her thinking like she's got another dick, and she's just going out here talking crazy. That's it. Because I'm gonna tell you what: I've been a man that has been uh, unfaithful or whatever, yeah. and I'm gonna say this: that no matter what, I never fuck. I do whatever it takes, even if I'm being stupid and I'm fucking up. I'm just being honest here. Uh, uh, at the same time, I'm. I'm not letting any of this stupid shit that's going on over here affect. I'm not gonna ever gonna let it fuck up the real relationship, ever. But you see what, what I'm? It, but what if it does? But I'm saying I, I'm telling you that I would never, right? But that's the thing because I don't have feelings attached to it. But a woman is different. Yeah, that and I definitely. If agree a woman's with that. already in that kind of yeah. zone, it, she has feelings for it. Yeah, women's Cause cheat. They're, they're, women no. cheat because of their they got no, they got things going in that's there. That's why they're no, emotional. No, no, no. And men, we do it and we don't care. But women are emotionally attached. Yeah. I think exactly. They're a emo- man can cheat and really didn't care about that girl. I don't even remember her. That's true. I don't even know because there's no feelings there. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. There's and no that's why I mean that a woman when a woman fights hard. I think harder. a woman fights hard because she has it she, won't, she won't sleep with that dude unless she has feelings for him. Exactly. So it stings a little more. Exactly. If he's smashing, it's like they you know exactly. he been in her ear. And dude. then they'll call it an entanglement or some bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true, right? Like she, they, if a chick goes gets to the point to where she throws in the towel in a relationship, she somebody been in her ear. Well, yeah, really. It's always I, every time I got dumped and it felt like the, yeah. every time that I've been in that position and the girl dumped they, me, dude. They, they, I they, promise you, she was in a relationship quick. They absorb everyone. They absorb everything. Everything. The environment. You first bring them around your friends. They're gonna absorb. Uh, they're, they're gonna take everything in. They could call it an entanglement, but my nine millimeter would call it a separation. <laughs> <laughs> Separated. <laughs> Talking to me like Separated. that. Separated. But, but so all right. So Blaze, I mean, what but Bray said that that, that that a man does. Why do you believe that? Man, Let's hear yours. You should have caught me in the thought when I had it on the tip of my tongue. Now well, I'm kind of find it now. What do you think a man? Why do you think a man? Why do you think that a man would fight? Why do you? Believe so is this just a a, a fling or is it a relationship? Relationship? We don't know. We're just it's just general. Like oh, who general. do you think? Who do you think in the end fights get, longer for, for the relationship to get more? Uh, okay, I mean I gotta be careful because you know this might offend women. You know I got damn. Uh, mm. Women have different judgment from men. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, like us right now, we've known each other. You know, uh, blah blah blah. You know, we won't sit here and gas each other up and say, "Hey, yeah. you don't need that female, or you don't need <clears throat> that slut, or you don't." Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we don't, don't have them kind of conversations, right? We won't be in but the women will. No. They'll be like gassing each other up, saying, "Ah, oh, you don't need them. You can do better." You know, you're young, you're beautiful, blah, blah, blah. And then it starts from there. <clears throat> How about that? That Oh, I love that you said that because now I'm, I'm <laughs> the going on another. Okay, okay, okay. Let's Take switch off. gears now. Do you think it's more so uh, like, okay, uh, uh, do you think it's more so men that have the homeboy that's like, yo, let's go fucking 
hey, let's get out, let's go do this. Or do you think it's more so girls have homegirls that girls are like, have, yo, it's the female. who do you think has the more worse friends trying to turn females. them up on the side? Females. But who do you think? It's going to be females. You think females more... A female having friends is worse than a guy having friends. I feel like... What you think? I feel like women are always going to be more vindictive right, towards each it. other. Yeah. No, no, what do you mean? What do you mean? Than men are, in general. That's why they're in each other's ears, man. They don't want... They keep each other down. That's how they work. What do you and think? We, you and women, you and think? women know that themselves because they don't have a lot of female friends. You guys... I'm going to be friends. honest and say this. My homeboys, like, my homeboys have never, like, and this is just keeping it real, and I'm not even saying this to be, try to, like, make them look all just or whatever, but straight up, my homeboys have never, uh, all right. my homeboys no, have, no, 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 hey, my no, homeboys no. have never, uh, um, like, if they saw me, like, if, okay. like, they've never tried to talk me into fucking around. Never. I've never had a homeboy ever in my whole lifetime do that shit, bro. Yeah. Never. I don't know about y'all homeboys. I'm saying mine. Yeah. Nobody in my of my homeboys nah, have ever tried to convince me yeah. to like, yo, Krim, let's get out, man. Let's go meet women. Like, yeah. never. They've never even tried to push me in that direction, bro. Yeah. I could say the same. But, yeah. but I think women do, though. Oh, yeah. I think women try to talk women into fucking around. Yeah. All right. Look, we have, a, we have, we All have, right. now we got Jess here, so we have a woman, so we can ask a woman. Right? Yes. What are yes. y'all talking about? Look, here goes the question. I want you to see what you think. Okay, look. Whenever a relationship is getting to the point where it's about to end, right? Mm -hmm. Who do you think fights harder for it to stay together? The man or the woman? The woman. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Okay, okay, wait, okay. We said, me and Blaze agreed with that. They said the man. But why, did, why do you think, or me and Eternal said the woman. And then, But why do you say that, though? Because you are a woman. Yeah. Why do you think that? Why, is, why do you feel that? Why do you... Well, yeah, I want to know. What, How would the man be the one, though? Say that mean? first. Yeah, like, what kind of relationship were they in? Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I guess, What's yeah, I guess, the problem? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It's just a generally speaking. There is no think? problem. Yeah, exactly. Just, we yeah, don't know. In general. Yeah, it's just who, in general. Who fights to I keep guess the, try, the, yeah. the... Who's the one that's like, you know what? I guess You're right. At the end, it's like more a percentage. Like, who do you really think? Like, like who keeps the thing going? Like, who takes I, more shit? The woman. Obviously. Okay. I the think woman. that the woman. I think the That's woman tries said. harder. That's what we said. I think the woman. Yeah. I think well, the wait, woman is, gives more on. chances than the man gives. Hold on. Yes. Yeah. That's, That's what I think. That is for is sure. Right. The, the bro, woman will the forgive you a million the times. The woman will one take time. more. Here's the real question, though. What? Is there more shitty women partners or shitty? Men partners yes, in the world. Yes, that's uh, true. Men partners. <laughs> yeah. And that's the answer to your question. <laughs> you want to generalize it. Because it's, you have to be a shitty fucking person to end that relationship, to get to let it get to that point. Your job and, is to be the person that doesn't let it get to that point. Yeah. Thank that's yeah. why you have there to you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. You can't yeah. generalize it unless... Well, we're. I was telling them, if a woman... We were saying before you got here that it, I was saying that if a woman... Is pushed to the level, or or we were saying, if a woman's about to get out of the relationship, do you think? I feel like it's a strong percentage that she has a dude already in her ear. No. You don't think so? No. So you're just clarity, like you just like, yo, I this is what I want. No, it doesn't have to be that way. But I feel. No. A lot of times, <laughs> I feel. <laughs> no, I'm telling per them. Personally. Hey, I always have gotten broken up with. And no. it doesn't even take but a week, and this chick's like, you yo, no, she's with somebody. No. I've been there. Right? Yeah, I've been How, there. We were together I've for 10 there. years. You got a dude in a week? Yep. <laughs> yo. Yep. She had a yep. photo shoot. Yeah. Yep. Quick. They're already, like, have the fucking photo nice, shoot. the nice profile pic. Like, yeah. bitch, Dude, when'd you find time to be hugging up this nigga, it's bro? It's not hard to do. What? It's not hard to do. To do what? We know that. That's what we're talking about. If you want that, it's not hard to do. For a woman. As a For a woman. Yeah. As a woman. Why is that? Tell us. It's just not why isn't it? it no, no, no. I like what you're saying. It's just why not isn't it hard though? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> well, no. Her. Come on, tell us why. Because they no, I'm not talking to you. Because they got the what? Let Jess say it. Because <laughs> they, <laughs> they, they, they got the they what? Got the <laughs> they got the what? <laughs> no. Oh it took everybody long enough. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I don't listen oh, to the good. current music. No. I, I I just learned oh. what the WAP was. I just oh. heard the song recently. Yes, but awesome okay, okay. Song. But we're just being silly. But aside from silly, yeah, y you don't have to do too much if you want to find somebody else as yeah. a woman. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. You yes, yes. But you don't have to do all that if you just don't want to be in the relationship. It's yes. not that. It's it's just not. But that. do you think most times, whenever a relationship ends, it it, it, it uh, I feel. From my own and from my own, uh, me actually going through it, women have always like needed a dude 
faster than I did needed a woman. No. I felt. No. Not for sex. Obviously, I, I got a woman. I meet a woman just to knock down. But I'm talking about as far as relationship wise, I, I'll go years. I don't even. Yeah, need but it. a woman can have a friend. But uh, uh, you I see how they, friend. yo, they no. make it sound all delicate. He's, no. Is he, yo, no. is he, is he, no. he gay? Said, she said that. Is he gay? <laughs> yo, <laughs> come on, man. No. That, she I'm put a landmine out there. I'm not gonna stand for it. Yes, bro. thank no. you, Blaze. Never just a no. fucking friend. Yeah, well, I have a. You can have a. It's the same thing like I just said. I got a girl that I can knock down. It's the same thing. I just said it like a. But a woman doesn't have to go that far. And look, look, look. And that's not even it. Like, it's cool you have friends. It's detached. Right? As men were detached. Yes. That's what I Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but do you think women can be detached? Yes. You can. There's a, there's a new breed of women out here, bro. No, but Jess is older than. She's not a part of the new generation of women. How she, old do you think I am? I know you're not old, no, but I don't she's think... she's older. Like, okay, but she's no, 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 I don't mean it like that. I mean that you're not so young that you're just some dumb, like these no. dumb chicks. You're... Early 90s. Yeah, nah, but yes. just because there's a new breed of woman don't mean that they're dumb. They're more aggressive. <laughs> That's not though. what I'm... That, I'm saying that... There's still, there's if you got, you got chicks like Cardi B out here, bro. Jess like, still yeah. has a lot of morals, bro. If you got bro, chicks like Cardi B out what here, I'm the women are acting like that. Yes, that's what I mean. Yeah. Yes. Jess is not influenced, yeah. is what right. I mean. Yeah. I don't mean old. Yeah. I mean, she's not a young girl. Like, these girls that are doing all this shit, we... Ex- all the thoughtery. But that's what Thank you. Thottery. I was going to say that, yeah. but I didn't feel comfortable thottery. saying yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. You can say that. Thottery. Yeah. So, anywho, I'm saying that, from my personal experience, that I, a girl, after breaking up, she was in a relationship quick. Always. For me. What about you? No. Grace. Yes. Yeah, what I about you? It. Yes, I've seen it happen. And no. Most of the time when you ended relationships with a guy, was he in a relationship quick or was it took a long time when you heard about it? Dude, I have really bad experiences in my life. <laughs> okay, don't tell us. Like, whole... <laughs> you're, you're hurting our argument, dude. Chill. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a drink. Just be just be generally speaking. <laughs> don't go into it. I can't generally speak if there's history. No history. matter what, you're gonna go with women. That's what it sounds like here. Like, <laughs> it sounds like you. Yeah. We leave it at men versus women, shitty partner, men. It depends on the person. Yeah. I'll put it that way. Yeah. It depends but, on the person. But do you do agree that uh, women give way more chances out than men do? Yes. You do. Yes. For sure. A guy, yes. a guy will end everything after one thing happens wrong. Yes. Him, but a girl. Why? Because no, I don't think the true. woman. Why? Well, what's the thing she did? The woman is no, like, like look, no, no, legit. no, because the woman is okay. The name one. a scenario, Jess. And a we'll scenario. Tell you. Go. I'm gonna close my eyes. A mine. scenario. Yes. Y'all got me started. Go. A scenario. Uh huh. Okay. If y'all take t- a, a relationship, a partnership, yeah. take time apart, or you yeah. break up. Yeah. You break up. Okay. Right. Right. We're broke up. According mm-hmm. to each other, you're yeah. just mad. Yes. It's a breakup, but yeah. you're just yeah. mad. Time really, apart, time apart. Really, you're just yeah. pissed, Okay, right? cool. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And then you go talk to somebody. On During the time apart, you're girl. chilling. Yeah, you're just like, I'm... Hey, uh, okay. like He's later. not even fucking like calling. Wait, wait. Like wait. Like but, but, Let me but get then, my monocle. By that time, she had already called the friend. Okay, okay, but let exactly. keep Exactly. You, no. call, you call the one that's been bugging you and you've been the ignoring friend. the whole oh, fucking time. The guy that's been bugging you is the one God, you're hanging with? Dude. Right. But Idiots. what does he want him to do? Nothing. Have coffee? No, yes. Idiots. Yes. <laughs> yes. Idiots. Just oh, coffee. Oh, God. Idiots. So not coffee. even coffee. Okay, Man, dinner. coffee is a gateway. Yeah. Coffee is the gateway. <laughs> the gateway. If you meet, if somebody tells you, yo, let's meet at Starbucks, they're trying to get with you later. That's the way in. That's the way in. All yeah. the time? Yeah, all the time. Because it looks so, because it looks so time. honest. Like, oh, we're going to have coffee. Oh, it's so cash. Oh, God, yeah. God, yeah. Go. Coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. Yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah, thinks yeah. that. Let's get a coffee. It's like, oh, he's a good guy. He wants to get a coffee. He knows I like Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's just taking. How does he know? It's All right, so go on. So the girl. Gu- so the- if the guy. Yeah. During that, you know, separation. What if he's doing the same thing on his end? That's what I'm saying. You're co- you okay with it? No. But you're a- doing it. The girl's doing it. But in the, the story. guy only wants. Obviously, you just told me that Smash. the guy doesn't just want coffee. Okay. So if he goes out with another chick and says he just wants coffee, that's not what he really wants. Yes. So but on cool the girls' just end... Just yeah, she just wants coffee. She literally just <laughs> wanted coffee. And there is a whole thing. Like, I think there was a hashtag, but, like, some chicks actually, like, when they're hungry, they just, like, hit up the dude. And yes. Like, yeah. Okay, no. Just to eat. 
Yeah. That's a broke ass bitch. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm so it glad you said been, that. So that might have been shit. changes his mind. We do work hard. <laughs> Girls work hard too though. I think women I think women have uh I think women have it uh, have it harder uh being in a relationship period cuz I think men fuck we fuck up a lot. Y'all are crazy. Yeah, we fuck up a lot. Just well no, crazy. dude, like I've gone like a whole maybe like 2 weeks thinking I was killing it and everything. Yeah. But then oh, we get to the fight, man, she's that's like terrible. you've been fucking up and I'm like <laughs> I thought we were good. <laughs> yeah, we're, oh, hey, yeah. We're, hey, women are good at keeping like that. They're pissed off at you on the low, good. Yeah. Like they've been yeah. wanting to kill yeah. you. Like yeah. they're just yes. waiting for something to pop off. They hold it for the right it moment, then yeah. they explode. Yeah, yeah, man. It could be you just eating something real loud, and it just there it is. Yeah, set and it all what, off. That's it, dude. With their eyes. Turn the TV yeah. on. Yeah, quit crunching. <laughs> <laughs> quit crunching. So Jess thinks that it's women, dude. So we're, I guess, you know. Women's gonna say women, men's gonna say men. Hey, what's up though? You got something else in there? But y'all don't think what? That... What, do they think? Yeah, what do y'all think? Fuck yeah! I said women. What's up? What's up? You said women what? That they work harder. Yeah, yeah. Hey Jess, so while you're here, you we can... stay. While you're here, I'm gonna let you get involved for in our no situation. No reason. <laughs> what do you mean? Y'all ain't worth it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why most. I think that's why most women like if they get like if a woman gets divorced in her like late thirties, she'll stay single till she dies. <laughs> yes. No, that's not yeah. true. Man, yeah. man, not man. True. she'll fuck around. She'll have fun. But I'm saying she go. She ain't never gonna have a dude living with her. She ain't, she gonna have her own crib. Yeah, that's true. Cause she don't want to deal with that no more. She yeah, she gonna fuck. They're gonna fuck. We, yeah. We're humans. Oh y'all. Yeah. But she's not gonna settle down again. Is what I'm saying. It's gonna be. It's gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna take, take the right man. Yeah, the homeboy from Aquaman has to come through for yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because the old <laughs> Aquaman, Aquaman is the only one that could change that chick's mind. Well, when a woman learns the hard way that she has it all by herself, yeah, she don't need you. Mm, Ooh, damn! You damn, see how she, nobody yeah. wants to say nothing. <laughs> yeah, man, good, you see that? Good you, those independent women. Yeah, dude. See, yeah. once they learn how I to make money, dude, that you're gonna lose them one day if yeah, they know how to hustle. That's what happens. There you go. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? So, you, hey, so do whatever you can to keep your woman down, guys. Yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah. Not for real. Once she gets if the you paper, have, hey, she's once out. you start hearing that she's getting promotions and shit at work, you need to call up there and fuck everything up. So that that way, so that that way the relationship. Imagine playing. Oh, yeah, she been doing. Thinking, yo, like, you know yo, man, Jess been doing like, good lately, bro. She about to get a promotion, man. We got, I gotta fuck this up. Go up there all hood, go up there all hood, start a big old fight for her boss. Yeah, now she's back to the bottom. Yeah. She's never leaving me. Hell yeah. yeah I, I. All right, Jess. So, <laughs> all right, Jess. So while you're here, I'm gonna go ahead and get you involved in our situation. Yes. Right? So this is yes. like a. This is like a. The situation of the week. So it's like I put us all mentally in a situation and what would you do if that was you? Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. This is the situation. Ten years into marriage. Think about it. This is you, Jess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? Close your eyes. Okay. And imagine this. Mm -hmm. Ten years into a marriage. Okay. Beautiful. Great marriage. Love. All that shit. Good shit. Y'all got... The life is great. And into that marriage, ten years, you discover that there's a porn out there with your husband. What do you think? You never knew. Ten years. But somehow you stumble across this this video. Of him. Of him. One of your homegirls texts you. Man, you wouldn't guess what I saw on motherfucking Pornhub. <laughs> Yo. Oh, what was she doing sends you the Pornhub? link. Because she's... People watch porn. Let's keep it real. It, it is what it is. Don't okay. make her look like a <laughs> monster. Right? She's watching fucking Pornhub. And she sees... She manages to see Jess's ten years husband... Knocking something down in that video and says, I know that's him. And yeah. sends it to you and that's how you find out. And what? he was like a kid. He was. T it was before you. Y'all been together for 10 years. Okay. That was his... He was like spring break. Or that was like his... Yeah. He 2K1. Just, they saw him. <laughs> was, what do you think? How do you feel? I don't know. What, do you, what would you do? I don't know. <laughs> do, you not, do you not judge him though because it was back then or do no, you do you have something to talk about I mean if we weren't together that's his that's his personal life I'd be like dude you should be like ashamed of yourself like <laughs> yeah. why should he be ashamed of himself that's weird why that's just weird because he smashed but, on but tape but do you leave him I wouldn't leave him but no? I'd be like you wouldn't no, leave him no you definitely fight harder than men Yes. <laughs> yes. Blaise, I'd be like, bro, okay. what the fuck? Okay, switch it. Blaze. I know you were You dumb, find out your wife of 10 years, you find out that you had a portal. What do you do? No. 
Uh-oh. What? What do you mean no? It's I just worse just, for women. You're done? That sucks. Yeah. But that was before you. Dude, it depends though. Do what is she kids? doing in this video? <laughs> <laughs> what is she doing? Straight gangbang. Do you have kids? Oh no, it's over. Nah, yeah. It's over. Yeah, do y'all have kids though? No. Or I can do it. Oh yeah. Gangbang. Yeah, slide ball this one, dude. Jess. Oh, Jess. What, what if the video that he's involved in is a gangbang? <laughs> Nah, I'd be like, Him and a bunch of dudes on one chick. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Why does that? Why does that change everything? It changes everything. Shame on you. Why? No, 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 why does it change everything? Because your chicks, like, same as last time. She's just getting loads. Like, everywhere. everywhere. Hey, but it was way, hey, it was way before he's the best husband. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Y'all got a fucking, y'all got a dog, like, fucking full house and everything. Not Brandon. Brandon wouldn't do that. <laughs> Not Brandon. Not my Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <but> Never. <laughs> no. Hey, Jess. Hey, Jess. So, gangbang ends the relationship. Mm. <laughs> the gangbang gets you divorced. I say it does, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> hey, women fight harder. Women fight harder. <laughs> women fight harder. <laughs> hashtag, <laughs> hashtag <laughs> women fight hey, harder. Jess don't even want to let Brandon go. I mean, if it's in the it's past. It's a fake person. You don't want to let him go. <laughs> he was different back then. He was in a gangbang. <laughs> he changed. <laughs> he was in a gangbang. He changed. He turned. Jeez. We gotta hear eternal. <laughs> Please, <laughs> eternal. <laughs> you find out your wife of ten years eternal is in a movie and it's a gangbang. What do you do? Oh, ten no. years of good marriage. Good, she, yeah. She treated me the good. best woman, <laughs> the best wife ever. I mean, she must have a pretty good head. She was with a gangbang. <laughs> <laughs> but would you let it go? I let it go. It was I before. Can't. It. I keep I'm with Eternal. I'm not like you have to. It's just, it's in the past. Okay. He was a you know how hard it is you know? to find a good Eternal. marriage. He made some bad choices. Yeah, <laughs> dude. But what if he's really <laughs> get, getting in? The bed? <laughs> oh god! Like shit, he don't even do to you. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's what I. That's, I don't even know. That's what. Uh, really, oh, that would so, be like so, whoa. That's what would matter in my decision. <laughs> that's like fucking cheating. Is oh, it though? The what? Is it cheating? Is it a loop? No, that's what I said earlier. Before I was you. like, "What if you leverage this?" No, it's before you. It's not <laughs> cheating. It matters. No, but I'm saying like, if you never had a threesome, you could leverage this and like, all right. Why? It was before you. It. Still, anything before the relationship, you can't. You can't. If she's done, I can't that, turn something against you from that you did dude, when sorry. you weren't with me. That's true. There's no way. I mean, that's why you love stuff. So is it bad she didn't tell you? The what? Huh? Right. It's a bad she didn't. Oh, you, that's good. That's why you love stepchildren. Hey, Eternal has a good point. It's bad that I he. I mean, ne- I know that that's, that's you had to have had sex with her for your, him okay, to be up. alive right now. So yeah. I love him. I don't love that y'all did that, but I mean that was <gasps> okay. Jess, <laughs> hey Jess, but he, I love your son. Eternal brought a, up a good point. <laughs> Is yeah. it bad that you found out that way that he never even told you though? That what? <laughs> that you found the video through the through your home girl fi- found it, and that's how you found out. So he kept does it from he you. Know? Basically. Does he know? That's does he know? Does he know? Does he know? She could have done it on some spiteful shit. Yeah. Does he? Does it. he know that that's he's true. out there like that? Come on. Does he know? Nobody does a gangbang and doesn't know it's going out there somewhere. Does Maybe he, he know forgot. that he was videotaped? Does <laughs> yeah, he know no, that it's there's footage? It's true. Quitting? That is true. It's what do you mean? Does he know? It's worse if he did that just to do that. Just to do that, I mean, people have passed. People I, live. I'm, dude, I'm 38. I've never had a homeboy be like, come through, we got a gangbang going. I mean... <laughs> this is, you're filming. You know it's filming. It's a different thing to go through it and to have it on <laughs> the internet. Yeah. You know? Okay. If he knows it's on the internet is it an amateur and he doesn't or professional? tell me. Regardless, he didn't tell you about it. <laughs> if, if does he know? <laughs> I'd be like, did you know? <laughs> did he know it was out there? Did was you it? know that that's online? Did you know that I could have access to it? Because if I could have access to it, anybody can. Then your future child could have oh, access to it. Man, damn! When they bring up the future child, come yeah. on, man. yo! <laughs> These are the questions damn, that matter, man. <laughs> that's important. The future child. When she says future child, that's bro, like, dang. I Kim like Kardashian's kids are no, fucked, bro. Man. Yeah. But still, even then, you're you're bringing up future children on Brandon here. Like you still won't let this nigga <laughs> yeah. go. Yeah. Throughout this whole. If he's shit. like, I I didn't know that was out there. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, oh well. It's so you'd out forgive there. it like that? Yeah. 
Damn, uh, look. I don't know, dude. I don't know. It depends Blaze. how old he was. How long ago was that? Did you tell me that okay. that happened? Like, I don't know. He would even early, early Is 19, 20, news? 21, around there, before he even met you. Oh. Fuck it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't really care. I'd be like, oh, you're like that. Everybody could obviously see that you were a piece of shit back then. <laughs> Why? No, no, no. Okay, okay. Now let's do it. <laughs> okay, okay, if, okay, okay. Check this out. Now, if now, they know now, you now. Now, no, can check it out. Now, now the dude has like a like a not so appealing wiener, Ooh. and the world knows now. Do you ditch him? <laughs> what? Like he has, I don't know if it would take he has that like a micro wiener. Why would they put him in the gangbang with a wiener that ain't? Did, did you just say a micro wiener? <laughs> Bro, come on. Man. No, like a little micro wiener. He's not going to be get, getting the gangbang with a sorry wiener, Blaze. Say it's not there. You're you adding. Say it's not there. And also, no, before that, go back, rewind to just what she said. Mm. But why is he a piece of shit? Because he was in a fucking porno. That's. He was a porn star. That was his job. Oh, he was a porn star. Well, he's not just in a porn. It wasn't just like a random video that got like. Okay, let's say he was a porn star. Like, if he was a porn star, I that's what date he did. Him. But you didn't meet him that way, so you don't even know him like that. Oh, I would. Brandon, know. when you I met Brandon, know. he was the boss at H E B. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like the yeah. boss. Yeah, you met him at H E B. You were you buying groceries, and he's you like, "You don't Yo, have what's a relationship up? with somebody not to know that, though." He'd yeah. be. Like, you would know that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You would ask questions and you'd yeah. be like, all right. No, so. but what if he never brought that up? He tells you other shit. Yeah, I and worked then, at oh, Costco before it this. It would totally be over. He doesn't say, like, like I was a porn star. fucking liar. <laughs> yeah, I would be devastated. <laughs> I would be devastated. <laughs> so if you found out, you'd be... I would be like, you're a fucking liar. Get away. No, but was he lying because he didn't right tell you? With your germs. It's not a lie if he didn't tell you. <laughs> it's It's a just lie. you don't know the information. If I would have asked him. A lie, a lie is you work? said the totally different thing. On paper. Not do telling you money? is you're not a preview to what happened. Do they have money though? That person? Yeah, do they have money? Like, do they, they have, have a house? Does That's him being rich change everything too? <laughs> <laughs> no. It does? No. Yeah. For oh, Jono, really? Yeah. Jono? Change, no, okay, okay, okay. Let's ask Brandon. <laughs> everything changes well, with me. <laughs> same thing. You find out you've been married oh, to this girl bad. for 10 years. You find out she was a porn star prior. What do you do? Porn star, or just a porn that happened. Okay, you find out. Yeah, it's porn not star. a porn star. Okay, she was in a porn and it was a gangbang. Well, and she porn. is the oh. fucking the <laughs> gangbangy. Let, let, let me watch the porn. Let me see I, how. I mean it. What right. do you think? You're out or in? A porn, porn, just one in one person is one thing. No, nah, ten, ten dudes. Oh. Ew. Fuck that. They shot the club. Up. <laughs> she's got. She's got to go. Now the number of guys changes. She's got to go, bro. Like, okay, oh. but how many guys is too many before she's got to go? Even two. <laughs> two. Yep. So at two, you're like, fuck it. Fuck yep. that. Yeah. Yep. Oh. No. Yep. Bye. 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 No. Yeah. For real. Like, Bye. get the fuck out of here. How's she gonna sit but down with your mom yes. and drink coffee on this Sundays? Woman treats you, know you like a king, exactly, Brady. Dude. Huh? This woman treats you like a king. Yeah, she's like, like you've never been treated like that. How about when I watched the video like and, and she did better on them than me? She's a regular Mother Teresa, bro. Nah, no. nah. And then she can't. Everybody has a past. Yes, I'm with you. Okay, time. okay. What if, what, if, what if she did that? Yeah. And then you know you find mm. you're devastated. Mm. You know. Yeah. You see this, and it's your woman, your wife, or whoever, 10 years, beautiful relationship, and she never offered you to be on film like that. You feel kind of... Oh, no. You don't want to be on film. Uh, <laughs> oh, she'll go do the porn over there, the gangbang. <laughs> but we never went hard Where at 3 a.m. Like, like that. She's the, like, I yeah, can't. How about that? Yeah. That's an even better thing to get into. He's like, when I can't is even it, get a private when do you video. Feel, <laughs> check this out. If your partner, let's say you're 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 in a relationship, it's been a while, whatever. Yeah. Over a year, two years. Yeah. And your partner says, and knowing how shit goes these days, yeah. is on some old like, yo, let's videotape ourselves. Do you do it, or you never do it? You never would fuck with it. Nah, I probably would. Okay, would you? Jess, a girl. I mean, why not? That's okay. your person. Okay. Yeah. That's Braves, your person. would you? Yeah. If your girl said tonight, yo. Yeah. You would yeah. Eternal What was the question If your chick If your chick You're already with her Y'all been together And she says Y'all want to record it You would Yeah Okay Okay I wouldn't So You look, wouldn't No I wouldn't right. Okay so this is why I'm saying this Because you know how it is now If y'all break up and shit Motherfuckers how they do it They, they It's on to, her phone It's all good to, Fuck it So it's you have oh, You have rules then Fuck If you do it, it. I it's mean, gotta I be would on just, my shit. I wouldn't tell him that it's gonna be on my phone, but yeah. I'd be like, "Oh, I got you. I got this. I got that." Yeah. Okay. You <laughs> yeah. need pl- you need to hold on no. to it. What do you think? You tell me you don't care <laughs> whose phone never, is it on. I no. would never huh? put it online. Fuck it. That's yeah. embarrassing herself. Okay. Eternal says fuck it. Bray says what? Yeah. I don't care. That's, that's cool. I'm not doing it at all. 
It doesn't even matter, bro. Hey, hey, if I'm she wants, if she wants to put that revenge. on Facebook exactly. like or like, on the internet, yeah, they can catch she's the only case. making yeah. herself yeah. look yeah. like crap. Yeah. That's true. It's That's true. That's true. She's putting herself out there. Yeah, and you would think it's that, embarrassing uh, to her. You would think that after being in a relationship with a person that long, that they wouldn't have an evil intention with that kind of a video. She would, yeah. right? No, nah. you don't. You wouldn't think that. Like no. this girl, if we break up, she's gonna. Throw that shit out there. I mean, if any, <clears throat> even if you don't know her, if she were to put it out there yeah. on her own. Yeah, why would she? That's you weird. Can't trust every girl. A lot that's of girls weird. do it now, though. Why would she like, do Like one that, night though? stands with these Hollywood people, they yeah. do it all the time. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. They video, they'll hide a camera and then they'll put homeboy on blast a and woman. pretty much hold him ransom. Like, Damn. give me money or this video's coming out. Oh. You know, hot chick, you meet a hot chick in Vegas, you're a celebrity. Uh, before you know it, at the end of the night, you, this girl's all into you. You're like, damn, I'm doing good tonight. Well, we're regular people. Okay, yeah. But I'm just saying that it happens. That shit don't happen. But to we're us. regular. Yeah, that would never happen to us. Like, who the fuck wants to? What <laughs> are you going like, to get from me? I want somebody. I'm going to let this video go if you don't give me $60. <laughs> <laughs> fuck! I don't know. I'm going to cough this up. I'm calling up Blaze. Blaze. To post my shit I on Facebook. I call Blaze at 3 in the morning. I call Blaze at 3 in the morning. Blaze, I need you to help me out, brother. <laughs> Tell me 60. Was, I know. I know. He wants to be in that predicament. Meet me at the ATM. Yeah. Meet me at the ATM. Meet me at the ATM. That's fucking hilarious. Hey, man, we went to a shitload of angles from our situation today, but fuck it. That's just funny, dude. Jess, thank you for fucking letting us fucking have a woman's opinion on how this fucking the shit we think. Y'all, y'all be talking about some crazy <laughs> <laughs> You want us to change your name on here for that way you don't nobody knows nothing? Nah, I don't care. Okay, okay. You're cool. oh, okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I gotta go. All right. Talk to the girls. All right. The real conversation is outside. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Damn. She didn't say that. Huh? She didn't say that. Yeah. I love I love yeah. to get a woman's perspective you know sometimes. Planting seeds in each other's brain. I love I to told get, you. I told you. Hey, I love getting women's perspective. They gas so. each other up. <laughs> <laughs> you don't listen to Braze. You don't listen. Hey, you check this, it. You, you slipped it. on my advice. Hey, <laughs> now you pay the price. Hey, Braze, check this out. <laughs> South Dakota Attorney General thought he hit a deer. The next day he went back, found out he hit a man, dude. There's Damn. a dead body in a ditch. He's the Attorney General of South Dakota. What do you think is gonna happen to this guy? Cause he He's no, he fucked. phoned it in. He's fucked, he phoned man. it in that he hit an that he that he hit a deer. a deer. And then the next day when he went back, it was it's a human. Still do you think he made this up? It's still you think he knew he hit a guy? Or and did he's he like dump, or did trying he to cover the, his tracks? Did he Who dump goes the body? Back? Huh? Right. Who goes back after they hit a deer? Uh, thank you. They he always turns return right. To this the sounds too fishy, scene. right? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, I hit a deer last night. I should go check on it. Like why didn't they check on him right there? Yeah, yes. Yeah. So it does sound fishy, like what like he's making up something to kind of cover his he was probably drinking. I mean, he is kind of putting himself to be held accountable too. You gotta give him that. I mean But he's the attorney general. Like, dude, the attorney general is higher than you yeah, think. Yeah. yeah. It's like but it's I up mean, there. It's still manslaughter though, right? Do you think he's gonna go to jail? Do you think he's gonna get caught up with this or what? He'll Depends get a good, if he's he'll get a, a good lawyer. If he's sure. a Republican or Democrat, it all yeah, and, comes and down maybe, to the red <laughs> or blue. But and for him, he has all the time he needs for that. They'll give him as much time. They'll postpone and postpone reset, and postpone. Reset. Reset. I don't That's know, how man. It is for the longest. And then they'll never, they'll never go. They'll never go to trial. I think that they're gonna buy the story, bro, because he's who he is over there. Yeah, probably. that they're gonna let the story be what it is. But I think, and I didn't even think about it till Eternal said it that. That's fishy. Like, why is go fishy. back tomorrow? Because for it, a deer, especially. Had like, it been any one of us in here, it'd be different. It'd oh be yeah. Different. Yeah, exactly. We're going to jail. Yeah. We're in jail. We manslaughter. Boom. We're in. Yeah. There is no, there is no th- even thinking about it. This guy's sitting at home right now, uh, uh, waiting, uh, waiting them to. Or they probably didn't even. He's probably not even going to go to trial. It's probably like they just. Okay, we believe you. We don't know. Yeah. But still, you know, it, you're right. It. Uh, depending on the person, this goes a whole nother way. Mm-hmm. You know, they're all fucked up. If, if uh, I, I think that personally, I think from the way the story sounds, I think that he that he he was drinking maybe and hit somebody, and he, you know, what I'm saying like, yeah, probably. Now he's but trying to make a story to get out of it because they're politicians, man. Of course, Do people even call that in if you hit a deer. Oh, I just hit a deer on the road. Why would you call that? <laughs> I mean, I think you, I hit a deer. you can always call that. I'll come back and check on it tomorrow. Whatever to come clean up the deer or some shit. Can it sounds stupid, that. dude. Yeah. Right? It yeah, sounds stupid. No one ever calls, dude. I, I don't know. 
I've never called. I've hit deer before. <laughs> you yeah. hit a deer? Yeah. You hit a deer? Yeah. When? Like three times. No. Damn. Damn. Blaze, why? Where? No, they hop in front of the... <laughs> no, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Yeah, trips to the... Hey, the trips to the... Trips yeah. to the valley. Yeah. You hit a deer in the Scion? Yeah. No. Yeah. You know what? Because over there, when y'all live back there, you in that side, talking about, there's bro. a bunch of deer all the yeah. time. All the time. Dude, I always worried about hitting one when I would leave your house late at night back then. <laughs> three times, bro. Bro. Three <laughs> times. Three notches on my belt. This is nuts. <laughs> this is nuts. In I'm a scion, not trying, dude. I'm not trying. I swear, I'm not trying. Oh my god! But did you ever call? Like, hey, I think I hit a deer. Not one of those times was at the excursion. <laughs> you hit a deer in an excursion? Yeah. Oh shit, dude! Uh, and then in a scion, that one might not have made it. But the scion, dude, yeah. they were all on the hind legs, so they like flipped. Like, oh, <laughs> you saw? Yeah, in the rear view. Like, <laughs> this is fucked up. Yeah, my bad, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. Never mind. I guess people do it. <laughs> I thought this shit was like, I thought like, oh, yeah, right, a deer hoof. Oh, no, nah, people hit animals. Hell yeah. Damn, man. So, like, like, who's going to call you, and who's going like, to go back the next day to go I've check on the deer? I've never called, dude. I've never. I yeah. feel like it, I've hit a hog before. I didn't know you could didn't... call, though, dude. Like, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, dude, call. Blaze, the fucking, it's bullshit. Bro, Nobody it's calls. Nice. That's the point. Okay. This guy's right. fucking lying. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. he knew he hit a person. He was probably drunk. And then he'd wait until the next day because then if they do some toxicology on him, then he's sober. True. Come on, bro. True, true. true. Everybody knows this. <laughs> Anyways, going on, Breonna Taylor's family receives a $12 million settlement from Louisville. You know what I'm saying? Good shit. Good shit. She's getting money. But yeah. until the cops are uh, detained for what they did, I don't think this ever ends. The yeah. point is, is arrest the cops that killed her. That's what I think is the point of that story. Right? Because she got killed in her own home. And what they did is wrong. But that's Obviously what, wrong. That's what they want you to see, so they don't think about... What do you mean? You think there's more to this? Well, I mean, I, what do you it's think? Ob- it's, it's obviously come on, been play the devil's advocate. What? I mean, I say they that shot her in her fucking apartment, man. She deserves that fucking retribution. Her family, but they, does. the cops, aren't shouldn't be free. They Where shouldn't. did that money come from? They shouldn't from the ta- from the government. You know how you we pay taxes, we all that shit. The money they build up a, a like a treasury, and then that pays for things like this. I think if the cops are come, dude, they're putting so much pressure on that city because of Breonna Taylor. I'm telling you, bro, that they gave that money because they want them to stop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, yeah, they, they want to they stop want, they want this. It to go away. But it's not going to go away until those cops go down. Well, it's not. You know what I'm saying? It's really not. That's because they're real, trying to buy them off. That's a real injustice. Yeah, that is a real. Yeah, exactly. Like they killed her in her own home, bro. These dudes mm-hmm. don't deserve to be free. No, they do. And not. they are free. And that's come on. It's if wrong. they if they nothing happens to them. It's like a spit in the face to Americans that this is okay. Yeah. It's not okay. And that's what I'm saying is like, uh, until those dudes get arrested, then that's, you know, all that shit is, is fucked up. But, you know, R.I.P. Uh, Breonna Taylor. And you know what? A- at least the family gets something, got something. And I know it's not a person, but I mean, like, still, that is a win yeah. regardless yeah, in is. this situation. Any dollar from the... Any dollar from, the, from a fucking police department? Yep. Huh. What? That's any police money is good money. So, yep. you know, man, RIP, Breonna Taylor, and yo, like I said, uh, those cops to me, they need to be. I'm not, I don't put my nose in all these stories that keep coming out about cops and da 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 because I, you know, I don't know. I don't know the true story. I don't know what happened. I don't know, blah, blah, blah. But her story, I do know a little bit about it. I know exactly how she got killed, the way she got killed. And to me, that like, it doesn't matter. Like, so I, that don't bother y'all that a cop fucks up and then they pay it shit with taxpayers' money? That's crazy. That's true. That's crazy. Yeah. No. It. it, it yeah. It's fucked up. Yeah. Like, why do we bail it out? Yeah, like, we. That's why do we? Crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's just like the country how they're fighting over, uh, uh, the stimulus and all that shit. Do you know that that money is the money we've been putting in there? Mm-hmm. So why are y'all fighting about helping us with our own money? Yeah. Why can't we just get helped? Why are y'all fighting about helping us for it? Like, why y'all can't y'all come to an agreement to help people when it's with our own money? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Some of that's like you having a big are... savings account, eternal, and your life is going through some fucked up stuff, but you can't get your own savings yeah. out to help yourself. Like, how fucked up is that? Yeah, it's retarded, bro. It's stupid. You know what I'm saying? They shouldn't have been going this long. These people should already have been. They already have should have been trying to take care of the, all the people going through all the stuff out here. My opinion. Yeah, they shouldn't have been fighting about all that shit, dude. You know what I mean? So. We, like Eternal says, how do you feel about them using that taxpayer money to do that? That's, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? That's not our problem. Y'all fucked up. Yeah. 
That's but, shit, bro. But there's no way you could ever, you know, trace that down or nothing like that, bro. So it's, it, it, it basically it's like, that's why the cops pay out, bro, because they don't want to fucking continue a fight. Yeah, I mean the oh, same shit happened to money. Biggie's mom, right? Yeah, that, exactly. It's yeah. just like how it happened to Biggie. Exactly. Yeah. The mom was constantly, no matter what, digging and digging at them, and they just keep paying her money to keep fucking her to get the fuck away from bro. us because she's relentless. Yeah. She wants because she believes, and a lot of people believe that the police department were involved with killing Biggie. So it's the same in the same kind of way. She's suing. She sued the police department, and they've paid her millions over the years, mm-hmm. and she still. So it's like it's the same thing with Breonna Taylor. Like we're not gonna arrest these cops, but here goes twelve million. Like, that's basically what they're saying when they gave you money. It's a settlement because they're saying it's over. No. They're not... I don't think they're really trying to arrest the cops. Mm-mm. They just want everybody to stop because they've been protesting over there about her the whole time. Protests haven't ended at all on her, on her story. Yeah. So, R.I.P. Breonna Taylor, and that's the point of the whole thing. Yeah. Even if it's $12 million, it ain't worth her. Yeah. To her family, I'm sure. Yeah. Is what I sure. mean. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's fucked up, the whole situation, and... And I know our cops aren't bad cops, and 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 you know her situation is just as sad, and I, I hope that she gets, you know, justice. So that's how I feel about that Breonna Taylor shit, bro. But um, hey, what about the genre what we were talking about, man? About the fucking ice. A nurse at the ice revealed that the detention center over there was performing mass hysterectomies on the on the. Uh, uh, the people that they had detained there, the women they had detained there and stuff like that. What do you think about that? Like, first of all, I get it, right? They're in a uh they're in the ice because they're getting when they get put in the ice, this is what this is my understanding. Tell me if I'm wrong, right? When they get put in the ice, that's because they're in the position where they're about to send them back to Mexico, correct? Report, yeah. Okay, why don't they just put, go take them back to Mexico? Why do they have them sitting in there? Because they have to wait. They have to wait in the detention to get exported out. Okay, cool. I got you. Okay, okay, okay. So there's a process. There's a process. Okay, but while they're in there, just because they're not American citizens, they're not slaves either. No. So then why? Why are they being treated like slaves? Why would? How can you force a woman to have a hysterectomy? Exactly. Okay. I, okay. I, I have an idea of what it is. Wait, but where did this come from? A whistleblower, a nurse that worked at. At the the detention center, the ICE detention center, came forward and said that they're forcing women to have hysterectomies, bro. A surgery or a vaccine? Because there's no there, uh, hysterectomy. Hysterectomy, mm-hmm. like a, a surgery. surgery, taking everything out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. taking everything out. It's, that's like it's mostly in the sick women that are there. That's fucking genocide. That's like bro. we don't want you to reproduce. Yeah, that's genocide. But they've been doing the same thing in China for like the past 10, 12 years to to a Muslim uh, Chinese Muslim people. Wait, 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 wait. How? Look, like, how? How? Explain. Like, what do you mean? There's like a mass genocide going on in China, like right now. Really? Like, yeah. They're, they're only allowed to have a certain amount of babies, which is yeah, like one or have, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. there's too many and people. And if you do, you get sterilized, you know? And yeah. not only that, I mean, some people, like if they do, the babies that, people that do get pregnant, like they abort their babies. <clears throat> yeah. You know? And like, but don't. what do you think? Do you think that, I mean, like, I don't even want to say do you think. I believe that they are... <laughs> Treating people in these fucking ice facilities like shit. Big it's time. genocide, man. That's all it is. Before they it's would just uh, but now there's more. deport them, and now they're holding on to them and yeah. performing surgery. I mean, what's that about? Man, I don't know, bro. To me, I think that man, I don't know, but I feel so bad for these people, bro. Because you know, a lot of these Hispanic people, they come over here to try to make a better life for themselves. Absolutely, all this shit to end up in this cycle, to end up in the system, to end up in, this, and then to ultimately, uh, just imagine one of these women that got this hysterectomy done on her. She was probably just somebody coming to America, trying to start a great life, trying to get a chance, trying to be able to create something for her kids and her, whatever, whoever she was with, husband, I don't know. And then she gets ice hits up there however they catch them and they send them back and then she ends up in the you know the intentions from the jump was just to try to make a better life away from Mexico because it's fucked up out there and right. then she ends up getting forced to have a hysterectomy like so that's like you can never reproduce but why is that she might what if she's young and she still has time like she wants to be a mom someday to stop the a fucking big, spread of a certain race dude and that's what I'm trying to say like this is evil yeah to them like if nobody does anything about that that's fucked up dude like, that's fucked up if they don't even try. Like, I know there's organizations out there like LULAC and stuff like that that are like all so, for the Mexicans, right? There has to be somebody out there trying to fight this. They, they have been letting more people go. Like, detention centers have closed down. But the ones that are staying open, the ones that are really like fucking pushing the envelope with these people that want to actually let people just start going about their lives, 
Mm-hmm. Like, they're forcing it to stop, like, with, with these <clears throat> fucking acts, man. They're, this but is these, their fight against... <clears throat> think about them. it. This kind of a surgery, because I think I've been friends with somebody that's had one before. Um, she was an older woman, and she was getting a hysterectomy. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, from what she told me, uh, and from knowing her, I knew her while she was going through it. And she was, like, on some old, like, she got the surgery done, and she was on some, like, she would, didn't come back to work for a month, bro. Yeah, it's a heavy You think surgery. in an ice... Okay, so do you think in ice they give them this fucking surgery and, they're, and they let them be uh, in a bed laid up for a month? Yeah, you know, they, let, they no. let them heal there. They make them fucking get their fucking ass back out there like normal and they just gotta... His, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is not even how they treat a woman that gets it done, like, on purpose. No, they get to go home because they're not... But they're up. laid up. It, it, they are so hurt from this surgery that they're laid up for yeah. a while is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I mean, they're not gonna... I don't think that these home. ladies are laid up Comfortably after such a big surgery. No. In the fucking ice detention center. And it's cold, man. Dude, it's Concrete fucked floors. up. Concrete floors. They don't even have beds. <laughs> they don't even have beds. There's That's no what I'm beds. saying. They're in cages. This man. woman, dog, you don't do a hysterectomy and sleep on the floor at night. Think about this stuff. They're, they're, they treat us like dogs. Or, Bro. You know, fucking man. Animals. You know what, dog? My, and, 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 and my pops, but you know years, 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 years ago... Years, years, years ago, obviously. Cause my dad's a fucking American who's citizen. Who's doing it, though, man? I don't know. You gotta ask that question. Like, uh, who the fuck is doing it? Who is behind it? Why would they... Man. You have to ask. I think that they don't want them to be reproducing while they're locked up in their facility, so they started doing this shit. While they're in the facility? Yes. No, I think it's forever. Yeah. They're Damn, doing it no, so when they right. leave. So they never reproduce. Yeah, they're trying to stop it. They're, they're looking at it like... It. Yeah, he's right. They're looking at it like... Uh, like a genocide, like he said. It's a they're genocide. trying to stop... A lot of people are on, you know... That's like the kind of shit that fucking... Uh, that's like the kind of shit that uh, uh, fucking Hitler was doing to Jewish people. Yeah. He yeah. was trying to end their race. Yeah. And that's kind of like a it's version... Too, it's I don't another, know a version another, of that. I don't want to be going too far here, but... It's no, another it form is, of bro. population control. That's all it is. There, those are just called concentration camps. It just makes me sad to know that there's somebody's, some ladies in there going through this, bro. Like, that's fucked mm-hmm. up. What do you think about the ones that don't know what's happening to them? They might be putting something in their food. Uh, vaccine oh, that they told him was something oh, else. Shit. I didn't even think about they that. They don't have to have a full hysterectomy. They, need... they could probably do it with a vaccine. Man, dude. I don't know, man. Yeah, they could chemically <clears throat> castrate, you know. Yeah. yeah. And then also too, right? Like in the same thing in the facilities, they lost a bunch of their kids, right? Yeah, like over sixteen hundred missing, disappeared. <laughs> and how we... even that? How does that not make? Uh, uh, like a like a law enforcement or something like that. Be like, yo, let's go look into this. Because the media won't cover it. That's stupid. Why does the media I, have I, to I just cover hope... it? You as a cop or whoever should want to follow yeah, up on it. But in order to get other like the population on board. But well, why does the population like need to be on board for a cop's job or a, or a, or a enforcement's job? Because they're law and order. Uh, no, they do their job regardless. A cop yeah. is going to be out here doing his job regardless whether he's on the news or not. But what's the point? What do you mean? What are we talking about, man? No, we're talking about the fucking uh, that that. Why don't somebody? <laughs> I'm. We're saying why doesn't somebody go and stop it? That's what the point is. What we're trying to say right here. I mean, there's organizations that do that are actively fighting these kinds of things that happen. There's investigations happening. But why that. isn't this woman coming out enough that that's enough proof that we could need to go in there and do something? They are. I think. You think this is doing something? I've I, seen it I, on all news sites. Now. I think we're doing something, definitely. By talking, we're talking about, about it. it. Definitely. Yeah. We're starting a conversation. Yeah. And you know what? And you're right, bro. I just think that this should be bigger. I think that this Absolutely. is uh, fucked up, first of all. I think that, shit, that, you know, the fact that it's happening in our, in our soil. I mean, That's this is... fucking ugly, bro. Yeah, it's ugly. I just yeah. hope whoever's coming over here... And you know, the thing is that... The thing is, that. And you know, the thing is, is that, like, you know what I'm saying? And I don't mean this in no way. It's like, like... Man, I'm all for black lives. I'm all for all everything that they're... I, all that. But, like, what about Mexican people, bro? Like, why don't we matter like that? Like, I, I wonder that all the time. Because we're the silent majority. We got y'all, though. But, like, we got y'all. Y'all have us, too, now, man. We're going through things, too, bro. Yeah. Like, be with us, too, bro. Y'all not the only ones. We going through well, stuff, too. Because we don't have a voice that stands up for us like all these civil rights people. Mm-hmm. That's why. You're right. And, you know, and there might be, in, in Mexico, they might have people that figures. But how we don't have a Hispanic in America that's, like, the one that's, like, he's so popular that he... You feel me? Like, how come the uh, Mexicans don't have that kind of a representative, like, at all, I feel? I mean, dude, we just need to ask Mexicans, bro. We can't ask black people. I mean, the more... I just feel like, as a... Like, why isn't there Mexicans that are out there? Why, like why, that, so why that. is there no more Pancho Villas or, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Where are those guys, like... Yeah. Exactly. 
Why isn't there yeah. no more people that are out here trying to do a revolutionary like for us? Exactly yeah. what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Exactly what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? And it, uh, well, why do you think that is, bro? Like, you think like Mexican people just kind of like, yo, if it's not fucking me, I don't want to get in the way of it. Like, we're very, <laughs> like, we just want to stay out of the way of the drama. But that's what we're doing. No, nah, I think I feel like that's what we're doing actively as a conscious mind of people. I think that's what all of us are doing, actually. They condition you from generation to generation and stay make at, you feel like you need to stay right here, our parent, not over here. Our, our, if our you get out of bounds, sure. stuff happens. Yeah. I always told us, don't put your fucking nose where it don't belong. But do you think this you coming know? out... Okay, another question towards this. You think this coming out, it, they're about to put do some real stops to all this? Yeah, there's definitely stuff happening already, dude. Right. Like, there's so many rings So there's going more going down. on than there's we know. There's so many rings, pedof- pedophile rings going down. Subpoenas being ordered. Fuck. I'm so there's people the fighting the good fight then. Yeah, there's people fighting the good fight. This isn't We're just winning, going man. unnoticed by powerful no. people. No, it's not. There's going to be disclosure on everything that's happening. See, I can't here. imagine like a story like this comes up and like, I'm just saying, like, I can't imagine a story like this comes up and like J-Lo and like all the Latin big get together to like, yo, fuck that ice shit, what they're doing. Yeah, they- like, I can't imagine them not getting together to... If I'm, I, and I don't mean no disrespect to J Lo, because they J-Lo. would start an uprising. But you see dude. what I'm saying? If I was a big popular like the Hispanic guy, I'm like Bad Bunny or something. I'm gonna yo well, that put light ruin, on it. That would ruin her career, dude. Yeah. Exactly. But what you just say about the basketball players earlier? But we're talking about fucking uh, standing up for like the you know the standing or leaning. That's one thing. But these are real people. They're really this shit's fucking up, dude. Like this fucked up shit going on here. No. Yeah, I think it's different. I think we're saying. we're getting it. That's a political view. People. That's a political view. Eternal. What we're talking about with the NBA and all that is a political view. But this is real people getting it, fucked up. Shit, what's happening to these people? It should be a lot genocide bigger than, happening right in front of right in front of, right in our country. A lot bigger than whatever the fuck is happening in our stadiums, man. And it's not. Yeah, that's exactly. a problem. And see, and they the NBA sh- gets more. It's gonna get problem. more look on it because they're oh they're wearing it says Black Lives Matter on the floor. They got uh, equality on the jerseys. They're gonna talk about it on their news yeah, all day long. But that's how they feel too because they're getting shot too. They're getting killed too. You're right. Eternals right too. I get it. We we just you don't know. have a voice. But no I guess matter. what I'm saying is is that like no. But I agree. We don't have a voice. I'll say it like this: all my black friends that are out there and then and then and then uh, and, then, and then listen to the show. First of all, love, baby. Always love. And uh, first of all, man, dude, you know me, bro. As soon as all this stuff happens, dude, Blackout Tuesday, I'm with it. I'm, I'm down with it. Uh, 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 black, black lives do matter to me. I feel what y'all going through. I back it up. Some, the laws, there's a lot of fucked up laws. The, things need to change. I, I'm with y'all. But y'all need to be with us, too. That's what I'm trying to say here. Like, stand up for your Mexican friends, too, man. Stand up for the Mexican people, too, because we got a lot of struggles going on, too, man. Black and brown, we're the same, bro. We're the same. And I know, because another person hit me up the other day, right, on a video. I did an interview on another video, and they said and they said on the video, I seen a comment, and this dude, like, it went mad woke on me and basically told me, like, uh, I, he doesn't like the way I comfortably say nigga all the time. Okay. And I told him, I said, I said, homeboy, I grew up in the southwest side of Houston. I had nothing. I had a, more black friends than I had Mexican friends. I fucking, you know what I'm saying? That's how we always talk to each other. I, I say this to my homeboy, me and my homeboys from the hood when we grew up over there. I say it to them. They're black. They say it to me like I'm black. They call me the same. What's up, my nigga? I say the same. And we grew up this way the whole time. So from 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 my per- perspective, it's the way we always grew up. It's the way we grew up in the southwest side of Houston. We've always been that way. You know, and and I, shit, we even had white friends in the hood that were from the hood that were so hood that even they would say it and the black people didn't even trip on them saying it because it's just the way we were in the hood, mm-hmm. right? And that's what I'm saying. So it's like, if you don't grow from that, you don't understand that there is no ill intent when I say it. That I don't mean it like that. You know what I'm saying? Because the dude was trying to hit me on some woke shit, like, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm like, bro, I'm 38. I come from a time where stupid motherfuckers like you weren't on the keyboard telling me that I can't talk how I talk. <laughs> it wasn't like that in my day. Yeah, right. I never had a black dude that, and I went to school with some G's. I never had a black one of the black dudes that were well respected come up to be like, "Hey, motherfucker, I don't like you saying nigga." They would come up to me, "What's up, Krim? What's up, my nigga?" Telling me, yeah, and I'm like, "I'm good, man. I'm good, my nigga. I'm good." You're he didn't take offense. Yeah. He didn't take offense. That's what I'm saying. But but a lot of people they try to be like, "I don't like this this, this Hispanic dude saying da 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 da." Man, dog, it's like Fat Joe. They asked Fat Joe the same thing, and he said, "I don't give a fuck. Grew up in the fucking Bronx." Fuck. That's how we always fucking talk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how we always were. We don't mean no Mexicans and blacks. I always feel I've always felt that we're on the same we're the same. So so when the guy said that, and don't get me wrong, I didn't I didn't hit him up and be like, 
Man, fuck you. I can say whatever I want. No, I told him. I said, you know what, bro? I'm going to be totally honest with you. I I am working my hardest to get that word out of my vocabulary at all. But if it does come out and it, it's hard for me and sometimes it's still in there, it's not I'm not doing it out of maliciousness. Yeah. And I don't mean it that way. But pr- pr- trust me, I'm working on it. Because I also feel like I don't like saying it too much no more. But I, but, but, but I grew up my whole life saying it. It's not easy. But I, I'm just saying this as a PSA to anyone that ever hears me. Right now we're living in revolutionary... Yeah, we live in a time where everybody wants to question Yeah, everybody's fuck. on edge. You, you know, know what I'm saying? They're looking for... I'm getting questioned by this dumbass on the keyboard. I never got questioned by the black dudes in the hood that grew up with me that were some real Gs that they never questioned me. And yeah. these stupid nerds are sitting here trying to question me. What the fuck? Oh, How the fuck do I need to be questioned by a regular fucking person, bro? You see what I'm saying? So I'm just giving a PSA on that because I, I saw that or whatever. And then back to what I'm saying is... Come on, guys. The way we back y'all up, the way we're standing up for y'all, the way we been, have been vocal about what's been happening to y'all's community, please, man, be the same way with our community. That's all I mean by this whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Stand up for your local Hispanic homeboys, man. Every black person has a homeboy that's Hispanic. Please, look out for your your homeboys too, man, because we going through shit too. And that's all I meant from all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and then, you know, like I said, the PSA I wanted to say because that comment... I told Blaze about it, and I was like, "Man, I'm gonna bring it up because I I feel that I let me explain myself. Like this is where I come from, but it doesn't mean I don't mean nothing by it because the dude was coming at me like I'm no, ignorant. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm not ignorant. I'm not coming from an ignorant place. So I don't mean anything by that. It's all love. It's just the way I grew up. All that, and I don't mean nothing by it. And you know what I'm saying? The point of this whole thing is is stand up for your Mexican friends the same way we stand up for y'all and the way we back up everything that happened with y'all. We appreciate the way y'all stood up for Vanessa Gee and hell yeah, man. But you know what, dude? This is something else too that's happening now. You know what I'm saying? Don't let them be. This is a bunch of, this can be a whole bunch of Vanessa Geeans. Stand up for other people too. It's not just one, you know, it, there's more fight to be fought basically on the Latin side. The fight never stops. It never stops. It's still going, man. All right. So, anywho, bro, I think we've covered a lot today. I think we got a lot going. We discussed a lot. We had a, a lot of conversations about a lot of different things here, or whatever. And shit, for me, I'm done. If y'all are done, I'm done. I know Eternal's done because we haven't heard Eternal tonight. So, I know he's done. He's been chilling over there today this whole time. And we've gone through like probably like ups and downs through a bunch of so many different topics. He's probably like, what the fuck? He's probably like, his head's been spinning this whole time and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, we'll go ahead and end this and everything, man. But, uh, shit, man. Uh, Braze, you got anything you want to say before we get out of here? Check us out on all streaming platforms. Happy birthday to Braze, man. Happy you know what I'm saying? But happy birthday to Braze. His birthday just passed. Happy birthday, happy birthday Braze. Braze. It's Appreciate blessing. It. I'm so Appreciate I'm thankful it. to God that we get to be here today and, and be around you. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? And and I'm grateful, dog. I'm grateful for this show because I've always been really close friends with Braze. But doing this show, I get to see him every single week. And it's... I love that about our like that I get to see him once a week like it's it's uh it feels good you know what I'm saying so happy birthday to Braze for sure you know what I'm saying appreciate it and do you have any do you have any shout outs you want to send a shout outs you got something to say before we get out of here man contraband clothing what's up something contraband supplies shout out to everybody man everybody that you know I see weekly what's up Bugatti. And shout out to everybody that supports everything that we're doing, man, that listens, that that really does listen, that really does, like, the the random people that'll text me something from the episode that I said, and I'm just like, damn, they had to listen to have known to say that, or, like, it, I love that, that people are taking, that people listen to this and go with us, and, man, you can, you can, you can subscribe to us on all platforms, uh, Spotify, Apple, Google, uh, YouTube. Uh, I know we're behind on videos, but don't worry about it. We're gonna about to get yeah, them all back up. We'll catch up after this coming. Yes, week. come on, we'll man. I, we only have one Blaze, so keep keep in mind, yeah. guys. We yeah. already got Blaze doing a million things, so uh, the videos will catch up soon. Don't worry about that. Shout you know out saying? to all the new subscribers. Shout out. And then uh, Eternal, you got anything you want to say, bro? Before we get out of here, man, just much love to everybody. Thank y'all for tuning in. Do uh, uh, Eternal, do you and you have another another. Concert going, another one of the virals. Yeah, we got another virtual concert coming real soon. Not sure when it's gonna drop yet, but, but uh, so coming. you don't you okay? So you'll tell us more details when you know more yeah. details. Yeah. Okay, bet. So there's another one coming soon. Uh, I'm sure Eternal already has a lineup in his mind. We won't say nothing about it yet, uh, but it's sure to be good as well. So look out, be ready for that. That's coming too. And uh, appreciate everybody who's uh, watched the interview that I did on the JVAS show that's been hitting me up and or listened to it or, or said something about it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 
Uh, appreciate Jay Vaz, man. Shout out, my boy. And uh, thanks for talking to me and all that. And then, uh, John, what do you got to say before we get out of here, bro? Appreciate you coming anyway. Appreciate Straight you. Straight up. Me, man. You know what I'm saying? But what do you got to say, man? Come on, hit us with some woke shit. Closing words. (laughs) Come on, man. Jay Springer. Jay Springer. Come Come on, on, man. What you got? John, no. John, no. What you got? um, Just everybody relax. Uh Uh-huh. Try to get out of your head. Yes. You know, um, enjoy what you have. Yeah. You know, people in your life. Yes. And try to just spread love where you can, man. There you go, man. Spread love the Brooklyn way. (laughs) <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, R.I.P. Right, Biggie, baby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But spread love all, all around, man. You're right. You know what I'm saying? So everybody out there, man, peace, blessings. Uh, man, shit, dude. We hope to, you know what I'm saying, to, that y'all catch us on the next one. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, man, shit, I hear that there's a fucking uh, 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 a storm forming in the Gulf right now as we speak, yeah. and it's going to hit us. It's coming to Houston. Huh? It's not coming. That's yeah, not rain out of We're going to get a lot of rain, though. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Whatever the case is, we'll get through it. We'll get through it, baby. We'll Houston it, strong. Baby. You know what I'm saying? JJ Watt, I still love you, brother. Don't let these niggas hate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Watt, I love you, bro. Please don't get injured. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so fuck it, dude. Let's get out of here, Blaze. Uh, you ready to go? You got anything to say? Yeah. You're good? Okay, everything. Don't worry about everything. It's going to be good. Man, fucking peace, blessings. Everybody, uh, we hope that everything's good. Thanks for listening. Uh, thanks for returning. Uh, hope you return again later next time. And until then, deuce, man.